to them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. I'm hard as nails. It ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or frail. Unlike the rest, I'm independent since my first rap. First test, feel the right, then the worst left. Born on an True. Cleanse yourself of them evil spirits that's in you. I will be the one to set your heart free. True. Wilderness with the ruggedness. Knock, knock, it's knuckles. The blow thrower, independent flower, magical emerald holder. Give you the colder shoulder. My spike goes through boulders. That's why I stay alone. I was born by myself. I don't need a pot. I get it all by myself. Adversaries get shelled. Can't burn you. Can't help me. Right on. Welcome back to Tuesday. Another Tuesday stream with your host. My name is Zara, and I know Kung Fu. So here we are. Um, we're kind of a day early, almost, because new DLC for Total War Warhammer 2 is coming out tomorrow. Two new legendary lords. Uh, one of which is an elf, a high elf, um, and the other is a, a green skin lord, Grom the Paunch, and uh, Eltharion, I think, is his name. Two new factions, and then plus there's also a free elf faction also dropping. So the elves are going to shoot up from four to six legendary lords, just like that, which is pretty nuts. But that's tomorrow. And I probably won't be streaming that. But if things go badly today, then that might be the, the backup uh, for the the campaign going forward. As we might dive into the DLC if, if things go particularly poorly today. Um, there's a lot of recap to be done. But before all that, I will get my my ally... Hello. Hello. This is the resident lizard man, stupid dice. Get in the snake pit. Everybody into the snake pit. What else do I have here? So, yeah, new DLC tomorrow. That's exciting. Yep. Unfortunate, yeah. So if things go boringly tonight, at least we know what we're doing next week. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. I don't know. Like, I'm not really that excited about the two new lords. Like, it's it's cool that there's new stuff, and like oh. the it'll be interesting to see how the green skins work with the the redesign. But mm -hmm. I don't know. They're both just kind of like not that interesting to me. I'm just excited for new content. Yeah. Like, the free DLC lore looks more interesting to me. Yeah, I think if anything, I'd, I'd, I'd like to play as him at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, like, 
I don't know if it's anything, because I think I'm like probably like one of like three Warhammer fans who don't really like orcs that much. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy about them. Like they're they're all right, but you know, they're kind of a, a they're not really a joke faction, I guess, but they're kind of joke. They are the comic relief. A little bit. And it kinda of grades and I don't go too much into it, but Um, are you on online on Steam? Yep. I don't see you yet. I am Refreshing am I? I am. Uh, I am online. I am in Warhammer 2. I am in the multiplayer. Huh. I don't have the option to invite you. Uh, view all friends. Oh, I am not online. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was offline, but I could still see someone else. But not, I can I see one person, but not anybody else. Hey, That's good. I can swap over to the stream. There it is. And everything should be good to go. So, while we're waiting for the campaign to load, I guess we can do a bit of our, a recap. Um, I'll, I'll let you go first. Uh, things went okay on my end. Um, can't remember if I secured a province last session or this, or the one full first one, but I have one province secured. Spent most of the time just building that up. Took out the vampire mutineers and got another region. Now, I just uh, last thing I left off, um, I had finally got some tier five, started building a actually decent army now, and the dreadfully declared war on me. So I got to go deal with them soon, because like, because I don't want to have to be in war with as as few factions as possible at the same time. And I think the, the best way to deal with the Dreadfleet is to just take them out because they only have one settlement. It'll be heavily defended, but I don't see any other way out of this. And I do not want to have to deal with the second front whenever I want to try and expand more territory yeah. because I want to take out Luther soon. And having the Dreadfleet attack while we're fighting him will be disastrous. Yeah, it's probably the best idea to just go all in on the Dreadfleet and just get them out of the picture so that they don't also, have Also, I problem. take their... If I take their uh, capital city, that I'll give me another province, and that will break one of the mm -hmm. requirements for the first stage of the prophecy of Sotek. If, but yeah, if you all can all hold it, going... if you can hold it, that would be a really good like launching point for you to potentially start helping the old one. True, I don't know. really badly, but that's I don't know, that's a bit or of a job. I could for take you. some effort just because it's an uninhabitable terrain. Yeah, so I'm going to have probably... huge public water issues there, and it yeah. might just be too much effort to hold at the stage I, of the game. I don't even know if anybody else can actually hold it. You might, uh, they might, Luther the can might move not... in, I guess. But I'm more worried That's... about uh, rebellions. Yeah. But yeah, so far things are going well. I'm still in a precarious situation because I'm still pretty early in the game. Or it's later in the game now, but I'm still fairly underdeveloped. So if one thing goes wrong, I'm kind of screwed. Speaking of things going wrong... <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, um, so the last time on Ulfon, we had control over, like, I would say we had a good control over, like, a, almost a quarter of the whole continent, which was pretty good. Um, but things kind of started fracturing a bit. A lot of the high elf factions started kind of, like, declaring war more so on me than each other but so like some battle lines were kind of drawn and what ended up happening is between alliances and wars all of the high elf factions pretty much filtered into like one of two sides and i unfortunately ended up being right in the middle of that so i kind of took the brunt of it and i lost a bunch of territory and things weren't looking the greatest, but it was going all right. Then Malekith showed up from Nagaron, just because that's what he does. And 
I fought him. I defeated him. I actually killed him. And then Alariel died in that fight, and then the, that whole army got squashed. And so in the process of trying to rebuild that, I lost pretty much all of my territory. And then it turned out that before Alariel could even respawn, Malekith respawned. So now Malekith and Nagarond kind of hold the whole like western side of Wolfwan. They have a whole bunch of armies, and things are not looking good for us, uh, us high elves. But there is hope. <laughs> my last hope is Tyrannok, who are my good allies. Um, and who currently holds the Sword of Cain, which is the reason why I allied them in the first place, they are almost willing to confederate with me, which would give me back all of the provinces that I lost, in addition to giving me potentially, I don't know how exactly if it works, but it, potentially that would give me the Sword of Cain, more armies, more money, more everything, and I might be able to beat back Negron with that. As it stands, we're kind of in rough shape. The party over here. Meanwhile, Tyrion is just kind of... I don't know what Tyrion is doing, to be honest with you. Okay. Now Nagarith is attacking Tyrannok. So sure, I'll go to war with them too. Ah, <laughs> uh, the faction is specifically there to fight the Dark Elves. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. The High Elves are really into fighting each other this game. So we're doing that. I was actually going to try and confederate him because he's not that strong usually, but oh well. So now there's basically four High Elf factions that are left on Wolfwa. There's myself, Tyrannok, Lothurn, and Kreis. And I guess there's still a little pocket of Safari left, but they're they're not much. Not much to look at. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. On all, all of the major players on Wolfwa, we are all friendly with each other now. So it is unlikely that we are going to be going to war with each other at this point, especially with Nagaron sitting in our doorstep. Blood Void still has not done anything. Which is good, because that potentially means that she can't summon another one. I also keep yeah, just... forgetting that the the Vampire Coast, the Awakening, or the Awakened region is so big. It's like you own Toxmarsh and the Temple of Plankin and Zahutek, which would it kind of looks like those are almost neighboring each other, but no, the the Awakening literally just cuts right in between all of them. Yeah doesn't make any sense to me. Yep. So... By the comet! So, oh, I'll eat shit, Luther. Vampire corruption in the uh, Awakening is... Going down to 40 eventually. Nice. Uh, other than that, things are looking decent ish. I'm sending out a Saurus car pattern to check out to see what the, the actual uh, galleon, what the actual garrison the galleon and scraper looks like. And I really hope he doesn't have anyone just hanging out there. Alariel the Ever Queen. Greetings, Lord of the Duke. Oh no, not the Ripper Horn Tribe. 
Sorry, bad news. The game says your economic power is very weak. Uh, I'm, I'm, broke. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree, in fact. If you need money, I have like uh, one and a half grand on me if you want. I, I'm, I'm not in the negative yet. Down. Yeah, I'm still, I mean, I'm not making very much, but I'm not in the negative, so I'm all, I'm doing all right. Um, I guess the other thing that happened is last, last time I was recruiting Sisters of Avalorn, which is kind of like my big backbone unit as Alario. And what ended up happening is to recruit them it requires two buildings, one of which is in the Gaian Vale, Handmaiden's Gallery. The other one was in Tors Seror here. And then I lost that settlement while they were being recruited, so I couldn't recruit them anymore. <laughs> so now I'm building a forge in the Gaian Vale so that I will just have them as long as I have that settlement. Um, I know last time I was trying to deal with Safari, but I don't have the army to really stand up to these garrisons. Because both of their garrisons are quite large. And quite scary looking, so I think I'm just going to send all Ariel home. Uh, go to Torfina. Go. Why won't you go? Fine. Fine. Do that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that Tyrannoch can hold back the advance of the Dark Elves for now. Well, I guess the ideal thing for us would be if, like, they lose a couple of settlements, but they whittle them down if we can just crush you them and take the settlements. What would you have of the Phoenix King, stranger? Confederate? A foolish suggestion. Nope. They don't want to confederate, and I'm pretty sure everyone else is more powerful than me. Give the word. Oh, well, Safri isn't, but... Choose your words carefully, turncoat. They don't. She called me a turncoat. I'm the queen. You can't call the queen a turncoat. Get out of here. Somehow I'm more powerful than Teclas. Figure. Illyrian is still alive. Oh yeah, Illyrian still holds one of the the gates. I forgot about them. I find talking yeah, to don't, your kind most. Don't violent. piss them off, or else they'll just send in waves and waves of uh, spearmen at you. Join me. No. Again, I don't even know if they can recruit from the unicorn gates. They don't know if they have an army right now. There's a high elf rebel named Damien nearby who seems to be recruiting. Right, but uh, re rebels don't count. I don't have to worry about building restrictions on their recruit. Oh, hey, that's. <laughs> so Nagarond has the Sword of Cain. Because Tyrannoch just lost it. That's great. That's fantastic. I believe in you. Oh god. Why? The Asher follows Whatever. strength. I'm pretty, pretty sure this is the exact same thing that happened last time. We traded that settlement like three times. That was my only resource, so now my trade agreement with Tiranok is gone.
we are both in just not great circumstances. Well, Fiona. At least you're stable. I'll give you that. I'm just building up an army right now. Yeah. Keep an eye on Luther. Everything in Ulthon is falling apart by the minute. It's been one turn and I've already lost a settlement. No. Well, they're not really going to have any. I'm taking it back. Get out of here. Lakai, Isha. We fight for the greater good. Oh, that was pretty tough. <laughs> Give me my town back. These fuckers have sword, sword masters of health. Restored. Yeah. Well, they have the white tower. Isha oh. is with me of Althwan. Yeah, they've got the white tower of, of Hoth. So I believe there's probably a building in here that allows them to recruit. The Library of Hoth. Mox recruitment of Swords Masters of Hoth. Alariel the Radiant. Well, hey, Alariel gained a level for that. Also, fun fact uh, for those watching at home: uh, the game attempts to re the game recruits generals random lords randomly, so it, you should, in theory, have an even distribution of lords. But the game counts the Supreme Sorcerer's Lord for the Dark Elves as every lore of magic being its own lord, so their overwhelming majority of lords for Dark Elves are Supreme Sorceresses. Yes, so it... Right, two minutes. Oh, survivability. I finally played, started playing SFO. Feels weird how completely different Chaos is. Yeah, Chaos is a ride in SFO. It's cool. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. Hi, Priestess. Local recruit spirit. Light of Avalon. God, I really want the White Tower, but, but Garrison is. I cannot take that with a single Seven army. It's terrifying. So I just gotta go home. What can I build? I don't. I don't have any money. God, my my income's gonna take a hit next turn when these stegodons finally get recruited. Income generated. Yes, give me trinkets. Uh, okay. You may approach. What would you have of the Phoenix King, stranger? Confederate. I think this unwise. No. Most astute. Okay, Tirna. Can I offer assistance? We need to coordinate against that. That one has the sword of Cain, so that's the scary one. Also, Lothurn, please, <laughs> please help, Tyrion. Tyrion is just sitting in his lawn chair across the bay, just watching all of this happen. Oh wow, Tyrannok is just getting steamrolled. Oof. Yeah, the chaos in SFO can own some cities. I know I conquered all of the Empire, but it would only actually let me occupy one city, which I think was Midland. Which is weird, but you can build a few buildings there. It's definitely not what is what's intended though, because the game was bugging out. It kept telling me that I had like horde upgrades available when I didn't. Okay, Taranok.
Take off. And that, that Chaos campaign that I was playing was the same one in which I didn't even set foot in Ulthwan. All the Dark Elf, or all the, the High Elves got wiped out anyway. Um, Marathi and Malekith just showed up on the shores of Bretonia at one point. High Elves have got a rough. <laughs> they've, they've got it rough. My trust level is at 31%. Everything, which basically means everything sucks. I trust you, Zara. I appreciate it. But you're not an elf, so your opinion doesn't matter. Fair enough. Warm blood. <laughs> that's just, that's my... That's just the way it works. That those are the facts. Yeah. Be the best. I only speak the truth. Well, okay, this is exactly what I needed. Be the best. Recruitment cost plus twenty five percent for all units, but recruitment rank plus two for all units. Army is faction wide. Okay. Uh, dark Elf bearing down you had. Uh, I don't know, but I gotta make a mad dash for <laughs> for my my house, or else I'm in trouble. So I'm getting out of here. Uh, so the Dark Elf that has the Sword of Pain currently is Aether Dark Blood. It's probably the general who's a sorceress, so that's honestly considering is probably the least bad person to have the Sword of Cain. It's all mostly black arc corsairs, which really isn't that bad. I mean, if you had a Sisters of Avalorn, you'd have no problem because they could just pierce straight through the armor. Our traditions make us I mean, I, even I do have some in the garrison, I think. And then Lothar and Seagar will probably tear through them. Maybe I don't. Oh, yeah. I've got one unit of Sisters of Avalorn, plus two white lines of grace. Yard, Silver Helms. So it's not a big garrison, but it's a very high quality. Speak. Uh, I can't free because I ran, so yeah. Darian, help. Please. <laughs> Please. When you said Tyrion, help, it's just like the camera's moved on to Lawthorn. And then not, and then I just saw the banners, just nothing. Hello, hi there. A strong leader is needed. Wow. That is a lot of corsairs. That, wow, yeah, that army compilation sucks. Yeah. If, that I had, their... if I had a half decent army, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Oh, it's Vinny Boot Snatcher. Oh, <laughs> and Count Noctilus. What's up, buddy? Where have you been? They're heading for the Pox Marsh. Sound good. Willing to bet that the majority of their army is just deckhand mobs. Yeah. I'm probably going to lose the box machine. I don't think I can beat two full stacks at once. That wasn't two full stacks. Noctilus had, like, nothing in his army. Or, yeah, well, one full stack will probably do it. Yeah. I might have to say one full stack, not I said two. Tyrannoch has no armies left, so they're just sending their heroes. Which isn't going to help, unfortunately. Yeah, Nagaron just landed on the shores, had a bit of a rough start, and then they just cut a swath 
straight across Ulfon. From shore to shore. Well, not quite shore to shore, but they're they're pretty darn close. If they take Tori Vress, then that's it. Italian graveyard, what's with the garrison? A lot of depth card, screens. Yeah, that is no joke. Yeah, it's level five. It's an uninhabitable climate for me, so presumably we could actually settle there, but it would not be worth it. Nope. Probably gonna lose the pox marks next turn because I don't really have anyone who can go over there and stop that, so. Up here, and then my turn. Against the code. Need boot snatcher. I can't see what kind of army he has. Twenty-five percent missile damage. That would, would be useful if I could do anything. <laughs> the Ever Queen. But as it stands, I am kind of backed into a bit of a corner. Is my Smith almost done. One more turn, and I could get. So one more turn, and I could theoretically start recruiting Sisters of Avalorn. I'd only be able to afford, like, one unit of them. Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just going to save up for them. Hopefully the fast. I bet Tiranaka will want to confederate now, but it not do any princess. good. Ulf one's defender. Okay. Mofern. I actually have to tell Tyrion. Go kill that person. Maybe he'll actually do it. Your best. The Phoenix King welcomes all, cultured or otherwise. So I could confederate with Tyrannoc, but that would be too many good if they don't have anything worth taking right now. Behold the majesty of the Phoenix Court. Now to business. Hold on. Crace, you're not at war with Nagra. What are you doing? You're just sitting back as the Dark Elves just ravage the rest of us. Uh, there we go. Now I have a defensive alliance with Krace, and they are also at war with Nagarond. Make your case quickly before my arrows find you. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever. So I thought that pretty much all the high elves were at war with with Nagarond here, but apparently only like three of us were. So now. Now that Krace is in on this war, we might have a better chance of pushing it back. Oh, here they come. Oh, okay. This is over. <laughs>
sieging me with two full stacks. Uh, my ally has declared war on Hagrave. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Snatcher. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that they're going for parts. What? Smash. <laughs> they, all right, they still get bored. We're yeah. off the boat. It probably would have taken too much movement for them to disengage. It doesn't matter what you do. You're dead. At this point, I need one of these other high elf factions to come back me up, or else I'm toast. Well, no, I still have a gate under my control, I guess. So we will find out one way or another if we can recruit through them. Defenses will hold. It's done. Really wish you were a higher level to hell on him. Tell me about it. I'm probably gonna force march him on. I can. One of them is, uh, let's see, Admiral, Captain, Gunner and White, Deckhand Mob, Deck Gunners, three units of Pirate Gunnery, what is and this six units of Boarding Crew, Pirate Gunnery Mob, Bloated Corpse, Rod Promethean, Rod Promethean Gunnery Mob, Carnade, Mortar. No. You waste my time. I don't know if my vampire goes to say if this is a good arm if it looks doable. For me, it is to beat anyway. That is great for deployment. I don't think I can take that fight, so I need to wait. I just got a message that said Lothurn is mobilizing against an enemy army, so. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Pretty sure that's Valen over here, but he needs to get his butt all the way over my capital and quick I think I just gotta eat this turn and hope that they don't siege me no they didn't Please hurry, Tyrion. Guessing why everyone doesn't have my lightning strike yet. Oh, right now it's because it's like the last thing in our chain. For some reason. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick sit there. You know what? This auto resolve is highly, is super weird, but also highly favorable for me, so I'm gonna try it. Huh. Oh, yeah, they're all just boarding crew. Yeah, that's not... I don't think that's anything to too... Oh, alright. <laughs> what? Wow. What the fuck? That, uh... I mean, I went with this because I thought, like, the auto resolver was underestimating them. I guess not. 
and they just loot it. <laughs> they, didn't, they don't actually want the city, they just want to loot Wait, it. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> this went back and forth, back and forth. And now they're taking attrition damage. Fair enough. Grace, please do something to help. I think this is the first time that I've ever played a game in which I've actually had to fight Nagarond. Hmm. It's not fun. so badly long that I feel like I can just Stop. That's not do it, God. Work. Yes. <laughs> Not this officer. Okay. Whoa. Where did their army go? Uh, they lot took a lot of casualties when they attacked me. Yes. Yeah, that was kind of bullshit. I say because that was almost like half of it was orange and the rest was the candy cane. Yeah. I think we underestimated the boarding crew. Yeah. Well, I was thinking that it was being generous and nice and uh, Klaxon has the plague. I hope it doesn't spread. And next turn, tier 5. A oh, chocolate has the plague too. God damn it! That's one of my. That's one of my regions. Please, everyone, help! Uh, my life is on the line. I agree. I could actually afford a unit of. Sisters of Avalon at this point, if I wasn't under siege. The good news is you have a very good army for siege defense. I'm I do. I have an awful lot of archers. I bid you yeah, I think if they when they do attack you, you can win this. I kind of. I was thinking about taking a gambit and seeing if Tyrannoch wants to confederate. That wouldn't really get me anything except some more settlements. Lady of Ulfhorn, you have traveled far to petition the idea. throne. Unlikely. No. Still don't want to confederate with me. I mean, you at least get Ball's Anvil, which is pretty easy, heavy defend easily defended. Yeah. But yeah, well, Nagarond is just taking off. Nagarond is doing what they usually do and becoming the the world powerhouse. Please, Grace, coordinate. <laughs> I'm single-handedly coordinating all the high elf factions on Ulfon. And they're just ignoring you. Pretty much. Well, because the worst part about it is that the AI... Like the AI factions just are stupid because yeah. basically what you'll do is you'll tell them, okay, let's coordinate against this army. So they'll go. Yeah. 
And they'll attack. Uh, that's not good. So they'll go and they'll attack that army. They'll defeat it. And then they'll just leave. <laughs> Did they just leave it again? Idiots. Well, they're going to cause rebellion next turn. I'll probably lose that settlement, but... Wait, what? <laughs> Still. Let's <laughs> just... Loot your settlement. Immediately forget what you were doing and loot the settlement again. Leave. And then leave. But yeah, the, the AI does not handle, like, coordination very well. Oh, hey. Alright. I'll take it. I... There's... One of the High Elf or Dark Elf armies has got... Their lord is just screaming, and it's right in my ear. See, I can probably lose the Pox Mars and next turn, uh, it's on. This is beneath you. Don't be done. Like we're bringing the fight to the Dark Elves. Hey, minus 15% construction cost. Just what I need. Well, under siege. Holy shit, that is a uh, I still can't beat it over. It's not looking mad, is look at the look at the rebellion in the Pox Marsh. That is. I mean, yeah, it'll get bigger. Well, no, if I had any sort of garrison whatsoever, I could defeat it. Oh, yeah. Um, boy, I really 
can't do much of anything other than just stare at the diplomacy menu. Yeah. I should, what would you ask? If I ask wanted to get the pox march, I should just build walls on because that's actually a territory prime for being primed for being attacked. Deliver your terms, and I shall consider them. Techless doesn't even want a non-aggression pact with me. Oh, he got me with me. What brings you here? Hey, he's trading with you. God, I'm at war with a lot of people. Your presence sullies the Phoenix Court. Speak. See you about wrapping some of these wars up. I am eternal. I Nevertheless, it. my patient. These are all dark elves, so. Yeah, Nagarond is the most powerful faction in the game right now. Not surprising. The performance will start when I say. Alright. So I'm just waiting it out. Well, Nagaron still doesn't want to actually attack me. No idea what the dreadfully is up to. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was gonna go kill those rebels. Same. Oops. Hey, Tyrannok. Well, at least Tyrannok is rebuilding. That's something. Most of, like, Negron's armies have kind of gone to the other side of Volkwan, so all of their the settlements that they captured at first are all now undefended. <laughs> so I guess I'm just acting as a distraction. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the big big brain tactic of, of the day. No better. I'd say the AI was programmed to prioritize you over... They sure did make a beeline into the middle of Ultwan, didn't they? Whoop. The camera just rocketed me into the northern wastes. Alright, so... Go for the best! Are you kidding me? Don't have enough movement. No. Do you have enough movement to camp? I thought was attack, but... Guess I'm just eating attrition damage. Can you encamp? Nope. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, I've never attacked the Galleon's Graveyard before, so I don't know how this works. I thought I would just, I could just attack from the boat for some reason. So it was, oh, it's in the ocean. 
Yeah, no, it's got an actual, like, little spit of land around it specifically for that. Defeat the following lord in battle. Seraph Faded Shield. That's probably the one that's sieging him. your service. You have a proposal Still for the Asur. Can't do much. How delightful. Quite impossible. Continue to ask Tyrannoch to confederate with me. Behold the majesty of the Phoenix Court. Now to... Nobody wants to confederate. Nobody seems to be actively trying to help me. Our defenses will hold. I mean, our defenses are going to hold for another 17 turns, so it's it's not like they, we don't have time for them to get here. Oh, I think they're going to siege me. Yep. This oh, well boy. needs us. This is going to be a big one. To battle! Oh. This is this is gonna be a big one. What? The last stand of of Ariel, the Ever Queen. The worst part is that the garrison is going to be showing up as reinforcements, so I'm not even going to be able to deploy them. Uh, I think the garrison does it only shows reinforcements, does just deploy them. Was it? That would be nice, yeah. because those are where all the good units are. Dark Elf siege towers are just like the most edge lord thing in the world. Great. Giant skulls on the front. Spikes. What's in there? but also most fashionably flowing. They are very fashionable. Also, thank you for, for following, Craze. It's good to see you here. Oh boy, okay. So it does give me everything. Um, Archers! Okay, Archers. Orders received. I don't fail. be in. All my melee infantry. What? One. Cavalry. Three. Four. Eagle claw. Five. We will obey. Okay. Awaiting orders. So. Most, the majority of their army is just Black Arc Corsairs. So that's really not that scary. My power is yours. So, Archers. Sisters of Avalor right in the middle. 
they'll be able to hit everything. White lions. White lions will be backing them up. Actually, you guys will be there. Acknowledged. There. The siege towers. Huh. You go through the floor texture. You can like on the, I'm looking. I'm the enemy armor. You go through the floor. You can actually just see water underneath the ground texture. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. I guess lots of games do that. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, I'll put you guys on that side of the wall because you actually got ranged weapons too. It shall be done. Seaguard, back them up. No, then Seaguard. You guys can't be broken, so I'm gonna put you right in the middle. Oh man, it shall There's be done. Too much. Understood. Acknowledge. Anything in particular? Uh, I'm fine with spectating if you want to just control everything, but if you don't have something you don't really want to micromanage during the fight, feel free to pass it to me. But I'm perfectly content just spectating. Silver Helms! Oh, oh yeah. god, the stupid hats on the uh, Reaver Archer, Illyrium Illyr Reaver Ar Archers. It looks like they have giant fezzes. <laughs> Man, these bolt throwers are next to useless here. Eagle Claw. Yeah, you know, on my side, I'm just kind of debating whether I should even go through the attack on the guy in his graveyard with the attrition damage I'm taking. Probably was right his force. they can shoot over the wall. Okay. So I guess people don't have played this game. The big question is, is can Zara whittle down enough of their numbers before they reach us? And two, is the AI going to be how dumb is the AI going to act during the siege? Because I have gotten through some pretty bad looking sieges just because the AI made some absolutely boneheaded decisions. It's true. Like the AI will somehow have all of its forces on the field and somehow manage to trickle it. it somehow manage to just send its army in and trickles. Understood. God, I, it like deployed my army all over the place. Yeah, normally what I do is when in the situation is I just uh, select all and just throw them in a corner so I can redeploy them. Acknowledge. Probably a good idea. I think that that's everybody. Or as occasionally we kind of, I gotta make sure I have to do that just to make sure I didn't miss anyone and so not see in the corner the entire fight. Oh, balance the balance in her favor. Oh. That'll change. I never actually had like time during a fight to just mess around with the camera and see what's going on. Okay. These are a garrison, so I'm gonna send these these ranged cavalry outside to just mess with them. Yeah. It's also good because you can probably hopefully lure a bunch of them away so that they can't join the fight as a single wave. Yeah. Also, their sorceress is on a cold one, so she can't climb the walls. Setting forth. Where is she going? Asa, move! Attack! Warrior! 
Dude, the sort of okay, the second army doesn't look even look really that menacing. And the dark rider is already breaking. It's about as effective as I expect enemy cal I expect cavalry to be. Battle call. Chosen Avisha. Trees. And as you can see, if you Zara's flipping over there, the sisters of Avalorn fucking do work. Shoot fireworks. Like they've shredded the uh, black arc that came after them. Oh, there's the sword of Cain going. broke that unit of spearmen already. Yeah. And the Reaver Archers are just deciding to stay outside the front gate instead of actually running in there. As expected of Calvary. Illyrian Archers! They got pinned. They got pinned uh, hard. Yeah. It looks like you can send your Great Eagles to take out the Reaver Bolt, thro bolt Thrower. Also, feel free to pause the game if you need to, like, take a set, assess the situation. Eagle claw. I think they are going to have a really hard time on the walls. Because all of, all of my archers, I think, are still pretty decent in melee. Yeah, the black archers right. have anti-infantry, though. Actually, I'd... If you some of the, you could also send some of the eagles to the front walls of bolster falling guys, but this is going horribly. White lions, attack! Orders understood. Acknowledge. We will obey! Yes? Get him, Eagles. Um, source with the Sword of Cain going on the western wall. Wall gate. Yeah. Wait, is she actually... Okay, she's done one damage. One percent. You got time. It will be done. Advance. We will obey. Uh, I said one of the eagle to take out the shades. They're shooting them. Uh, take out the what? Shades. There's a unit of shades shooting at them. While they're attacking the boat thrower. Also, on the eastern wall, there is a unit of archers in melee combat, while a bunch of archers behind towns behind them just watch. Serve the king. Archers, loyal for order. Illyrian breathing. Okay, yeah. What the? Uh, your bolt throwers are in melee with. Oh, you already know that. You're shooting against there. But there, yeah, there are some heavily damaged corsairs that got in on the left flank. Yeah. Oh, Soros versus through the game. I hope this is being useful, not just being annoying. Like, sorry, the thing you know about's happening. Uh, Lothar and Seaguard aren't shooting anything for some reason. The ones behind the gate. They're just standing there. Uh, Silverhelms. You have even Silverhelms uh, behind the gate, too. They could probably be just deployed to deal with some guys that's carried behind. Oh, I do, too. Huh. Yeah. I thought they routed. What the fuck? Why did your gate open? I don't know why the gate opened, but it just... Oh, it's, it's held by Nagaron. They got some guys up there to go control it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's come back.
Drooky blood flows. Uh, Dark Riders have reached your man post. Sounds like cavalry to him. Supreme Sorceress is also looking pretty injured, though. The one with the Sword of Cain. I think she was already pretty, pretty hurt. Draw back swiftly. Eagles, get out of there. Silver Helms, also withdraw. Boys, Eagle Claw, Asa, attack. Beauty Paul. I really wish the archers on the wall would just auto foot shoot anything on the wall. As is they kind of just stand there while their guys are getting killed, just getting killed right next to them. Maintaining order. withdraw. All right, let's take that uh, spell you just casted. Get a number on them. Love and see God. Asher forward. Asher advance. Your return. All right. Death to war. Also, I'd say like some of the units on the wall can be. Right, they aren't doing anything. Probably told to go shoot some dudes on the wall. Is that army losses? I see army losses. I think we got this. Without fail. I'm pretty sure we've got this. It's just a matter of getting them all to route at once. Okay. Go kill. Kill the Supreme Sorceress now. Eagles, you too. Get her. I think she's the only one that's not routing. Oh, because, yeah, she's unbreakable. For those who don't know, there's a mechanic in the game where basically once the ar an, an army has taken enough damage, or I think that's how it is, ah. uh, it'll oh. sh it'll break, inflict army loss penalties, which will just cause everyone's morale to just go to shit, and they'll run away and shatter. This does not apply to unbreakable units, though, so they'll have like the entire army running away, except for like three dwarven slayers who are just sticking behind to fight. Sarah faded shit. Oof, they took some big losses. Yeah. Alario's army didn't lose as much as I expected. In fact, we didn't lose any units. The only thing that straight up died were the Reaver archers that were part of the, yeah, the garrison. Like, like I uh, like I said, like we had a very good army for the siege. Everyone's arranged units so they could just rain hell on them from the garrison, or from the walls. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that army took a beating. Now the question is, do I have the Sword of Cain? I killed the lord that had it. I don't know how the mechanics of it work. Shit. I already have to worry about the army. I, I think it's if you kill it. I think it's if you kill the bearer, though. Yeah, right. I would think so, but I don't know yeah. if I have to like actually defeat the whole army, or if I don't know if there's like a specific thing you need to do for it. Also, the second sorcerer's name is Hither Dark Path. That's that's the one that had the sword of Cain. Okay, really funny name. Yeah. Hither Dark Path. Seraph Faded Shield was the one that I had a mission to defeat, so I think I've succeeded in that now too. Which is nice. mission failed. <laughs> Fission mailed. Yeah. Oh. Got me 
a whole bunch of money, though. So I think that was probably the majority of Nagaron's forces up on the North Wall that were left. Because I think Malakit packed his bags and went home. Because I haven't seen him around in a while. This might be a, the dawn of a new era for the High Elves. Under the leadership of, Tir of Toranach, <laughs> after they take the remaining territories. I mean, that was already the case. Yeah. And the Ever Queen in name only. Although, with these armies out of the way, I can push back and get some set settlements back from Nagarond. I feel like it's just going to be an endless tug of war between all of Old One and Nagarond. Take some settlements, lose some settlements. Mm -hmm. Take a settlement, you lose a settlement. Oh god. Well, now that you've won, that I have to decide whether or not I'm going Your to go through the attack on Gaia's graveyard. <laughs> have your freedom. Do I want experience? Or... You will serve uh, me. How's your money supply? Uh, I've got five grand. Go Actually, I'd go with replenishment because I don't think you're done with the fighting yet. Light yeah, probably in not. the darkness. Oh, it's one of the. Oh, did you annihilate one of the armies? I killed one of the. No, I didn't annihilate it, but I killed one oh, of the Oh, okay. I didn't see the uh, other army there for seconds. So I thought maybe they were gone. That was their turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye, Noctilus. <laughs> see you later. Although, I don't know what kind of settlement the Galleon's Graveyard is. Yeah, this could really fuck me. It looks like they're going to attack my territories now, yeah. so... But if, if they have I walls, can... then you can siege it, but then he's just going to turn around and come back. If he has walls, I'm just attacking. Do you have any siege equipment? No, but the Stegodons have siege of siege... Uh, oh, okay. Siege attacker. The true of heart always find a God. warm welcome in my court. Oh. Oh. The problem is I don't have a whole lot. This isn't my final form. So, someone just declared war on me. Plaxen? Yep. Why? I have no idea. Shit, he doesn't you're gonna even like, like finally... dislike me that much. You're gonna like beat back uh, Malekith and then like twat. Now I'm at war for Laxon. Yeah, I could not tell you why he's declaring on war on me specifically. Oh yeah, he's and just going now he's on moving. On. God damn, now he's moving on Chakla. Yep. Well, <laughs> you'll be able to get another settlement. Because I'm pretty sure Tlaxlan is going to be yours. A few turns, anyway. Oh god, this attrition's awful. Yeah, if you look at my arm, I'm kind of going to just head back home because god, there is... Might be a Ugh, plan. this is ugly. What? Might be a better plan, because it looks like you're going to be fighting on two fronts anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I could take this as a full strength, but I'm not, so... I guess the Lustria party's getting started. Yeah, without taking attrition damage. God damn, the Galleon's Graveyard is difficult to pan the ass to attack. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Marfis. 
Yeah, they were war with so many other factions, they, they already at war with the Hunt Factions, and they just immediately went for me. Guess fucking course they did. A senseless request. For Wonder if it would have been worth it to just attack Noctilus on the ocean there. I couldn't reach him. No. I entered Force March in order to just get moving. This is beneath. Trust in, in me has gone down. Okay, there's no way Talaxan has. How big is Talaxan right now, anyway? One they have one settlement. There is no fucking way they've managed to get the quest for all these fucking busted spawnings. Cheat AI. Yep. Wait, that didn't count? I defeated that for that. Oh, it's not my turn yet. Waste my time. The goddess forbids it. Alariel the Ever Queen. My visions predict failure. I'll do for now. Yeah, things aren't going well for me now. Yeah. Aha! The Sword of Cain will always be drawn to the powerful. You have defeated its most recent owner, and even as the body cools, the sword calls to you. The power of the god bowed within the blade, waiting to be unleashed. Now, do you think it's a bad look for the Queen of the High Elves to take the Sword of Cain? Uh, do whatever you want. <laughs> I guess she's she sucks in melee, so it's not even really worth it. Yeah, turn it then. Yeah, she's a spellcaster, unfortunately, and I don't have anyone else to give it to. Although I just handed it to Grace now, so. Alariel the Radiant. Have fun with that, I guess. It shall come to pass. Okay, what else do I want? I do wonder if the SFO's big change to the AI was making it so it prioritizes the player more. Because I don't remember this happening in vanilla games, where it just immediately jumps on you the moment there's war. Yeah, it definitely feels like they're more in tune with just going straight for, for me. Yeah, and now for you, I guess. Yeah. Which is a problem because they declare war on each other and they just ignore it to go all pile on you. Okay. A noble. People gaining levels. A 
Alario, Evergreen. Upgrade the Phoenix the Gate into level four. Oof. Probably not worth it though. Hi, Priestess. Thinking I'm just gonna go after these guys. Cleanse this realm. Sound the horn of Isha. Uh, yeah, let's do a lightning we strike. We fight for the greater good. <laughs> I'll do a lightning strike battle to get rid of one army, and then I'll fight the other army. You forfeit your freedom. My light shines bright. And I got a channeling staff. Well, finally, I unlocked a regiment for now. That's the first one. Sixty-six turns, and I've unlocked a regiment of renown. God. Also, hello, B. Thank you for the raid. Um, the the tide has turned in Wolf One, very very recently, and uh, Noble Al. Keep you horse. Uh, now we've we finally unlocked our first regiment of renown. Oh, our second one. I guess I did have another one here. We unlock the Heralds of the Wind, the Alarian Reavers with those, which are not really that useful. You know what, I'll take... I'll take them. I'll take what I can get. Praise e this world needs us. But now, yes, we have... This is... These are two Dark Elf armies that were lives. just sieging us a moment ago. Isha chosen. And in a very tense battle, we managed to defeat them. Armor of the Stars. Their soul is... So things have suddenly started looking up in, uh, in the High Elf world. Not so much in, uh, in Lustria. Yeah, I should have just not when I got off the Galleon's graveyard. It's just the attrition damage is just too awful. Yeah. We're gonna need at least two armies to break that shell. We are the world's protectors. All right. I might as well just continue on my warpath. Yeah. I must leave. My, they killed my bolt thrower. Order rules here. Oh well. Right, let me just take back Torfinu. Speak. Yeah, I guess I might as well just keep going. The fuck is up with Port Elster's garrison? I don't know. Like, the Shrine of Assyria and Port Delstor and, and the White Tower, that makes sense why they would have such a big garrison, but like, all of the little settlements down there also have giant garrisons. Light of Avalon. Okay, I guess that's as far as Alario can... <laughs> that's as far as Alario can take her warpath, so she'll just have to sit back a moment. I not have my... don't have my FMR Smith yet. I need to save up money for that. But, oh well. I'll get my bolt thrower back. Greetings. And, uh, what else do I want? Actually, a lot of stuff that I can get. I want my sisters. Sisters 
Yeah, I also don't have a problem with like, Trish having even, but it seems to focus on the monsters harder than everything else. The characters. I'll just get a second. Uh, book over, I guess. Maybe recruit a hero. I don't have enough money to recruit a hero, so. That'll be a fun. Next turn, I'll get Torfinu back. Also, Nagarith just shows up on my doorstep. It's uh, This campaign so far for me has been a never-ending series of, okay, I, you know, managed to defeat this threat by the skin of my teeth, and then another one just rolls up right afterward. Never fails. For being the last bastion between... Ulthuan and the Dark Elves, Alathanar, you're doing a real bad job. Oh, I should fast forward through Claxton. Yeah. Got a solar engine, but still a bomb. They're all blessed spawnings. The AI is a hundred percent cheating on this. There's no way you can get that normally. That sucks. That's that. That is a hundred percent the worst part of this game. Yeah. Okay, just don't reset my camera then. That's, that's a K2 game. I don't mind it if the AI cheats, like, behind the scenes, but when it's, like, just... When it's obvious that the AI is just straight-up cheating, it's just not fun in any strategy game. There's, there's no way this is all deep... Fuck you, game. Is there anything here that's not deep water? No, there's not. Eat attrition damage, cause fuck me, I get. How is this all? This was not deep. What the fuck is going on? I don't know if it's necessarily like a a deep water or not, but. It, it seems like there is a cutoff point as to where the attrition damage starts by hovering my mouse over it. Which is like shortly in front of where you are. Yeah. I think you were a little bit closer to the coast when you went there the first time, like down where Noctilus is. No, oh, it's still showing attrition there. Hmm. Unless, seriously, what the fuck is going on? Get out of my sight. Maybe Noctilus has a special ability or something that's causing it. Could this be an SFO change? Maybe. I don't know for sure. I'm just really annoyed right now. And oh, I'm out of money now too. Fucking great. Oh, I'm going bankrupt, that's it. Oh, yeah. That would do it.
Yeah, still damage from attrition damage. I just... Right. Okay, now I can see. So positive three times ago. Doesn't take long for things to to go bad. So I'm not exactly sure what I could have done to avoid losing uh, that one territory since. Send my maidens. Hell, all these factions and they're like giant fortress capitals. Attack to battle. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Come join us. Let's get flesh to stone. of light unlikely queen of avalon All right so nagarond has mostly been dealt with the they still have safri to deal with unless they want a piece give the word you abandon tradition and come crawling back here. Impossible! Fine. At your service. Tiramak. I'm waiting. Protocol insists I receive your plea, but don't expect Quite impossible. Nope. Nobody. Nobody ever wants peace treaty. Elf one's queen. Why would you ever want a peace treaty? I mean, they never attack each other, so they can just wail on you. Uh, I can get another handmaid though. Ooh, minus five percent upkeep for all units in Heroes Army. Yes, please. It's gonna take forever for two of them. I should probably attack Talaxon, although I don't have anything there, but knowing the, the game, queen. probably another like really full stack sitting in Talaxon. Yeah. This is the problem with like, the Total War 2 AI, is it cheats in so many ways, you just assume no matter what it does, it's cheating. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Oh, hi, Lothurn. What are you doing up here? Why, why is Alistar the White Lion just hanging out next to the guy in Vale? Like, it wouldn't be so bad if they were up front with what it was doing, but they, they leave it all secret, so you'd have to find out, like, ah, yeah. the, oh, what? Well, even if it was, like, straight up an actual secret, like, as in you couldn't tell that they were cheating, then fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's just, that's not the case, because it's clearly, like, you know the game mechanics, and... yeah. You can tell that, oh, these guys are just straight up not playing fair. Yeah, like, I am having trouble sustaining an army with just a single, of an entire province, but they can maintain, like, three at a single province. Yep. Alright, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm actually gonna fight this. Alright. This last time I did, it bit me in the ass. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. I should see. 
I think I got this by my own, unless you want to take something. Uh, I'm probably good. Right. Yeah, I guess the problem is, like, unless it's a truly massive army that we're going to have trouble controlling, it's probably best to be just focus on the same thing. Yeah, there's not really anything that stands out as needing separate separate control. Yeah. Straightforward map. I don't know much about the rotting Prometheans, so they're the only thing that scares me, but they're at half health. Yeah, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. They really should be. Getting rid Calvary, of the mortar. Or, yeah, the mortars and the artillery I can take out the cold one riders and they're everything's so badly damaged and yeah. I don't think their gun range imagery can beat the sore I wore so even though like god lizard men garrison suck ass <laughs> they're so bad all right tier three building half your units are just flat out level one things it does feel like the lizard garrison and SFO are just not as beefy as everyone else's. Now we got a product Promethean and the gut reloads. Yeah, but they're all hurting pretty good. Most of their infantry is at like half health too. Their lord is almost dead too, so if you can just kill yeah. him then they won't last long. Yeah! Good old Vinny Boot Snatcher. There he is. He's very excited. They are quick. As fast as might, well, might as well just advance everyone who got this. Uh, where is their commander? He's in the back. He, he was next to the rotting Promethean, so I don't know where he went. Yeah, I pause a lot during combats, by the way. People who are wondering. Oh, he's, he's right at the back. Yeah. Get to see the Croxigors in battle. Yeah. Giant alligators versus giant crabs. Actually, I'd prefer to have them. How are you losing? So scarlet and sucks. Mortars down, taking out the or siege killers don't take out the mortar now. Lizards riding dinos. Alright, now the rotten Prometheans are gonna go down, hopefully.
I think the game really overestimates how much punishment the the uh, Not the gunnery mods, but the other ones. The boarding crews. I think the game overestimates how much uh, how much punishment the boarding crews can take. There's stuff crumbling on the right flank, but other than that... Yeah, they're all dropping the hunts. Yeah. That's a nice victory. So yeah, the reason that, uh, for those of you guys who don't know why I say Lizard and Garrison suck... So, the things, uh, you see there, um... The Croc Cigars and Cold Spear Riders are not Staring Garrison. The Scar Veteran, the two Sorai, the Chameleon Skinks, and the three Skirmishers are, I think, and maybe the Skink Skirmisher. But these cohorts with the Javelins, the three units there, those are basic Tier 0 units. You can recruit them even without... You know, they are Tier 1, and this is a Tier 3 settlement, and these things really fucking suck. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, what you're supposed to beat with them. They don't do a whole lot of damage, and their morale is crap. Well, they did a pretty handy job against these zombies. Uh, not really. It was mainly the Sorai, the Croc Cigars that, like, yeah. True. If you look at the actual kills, it's the Croc Cigars, <laughs> yeah. the Sorai, and the Colon Riders that did most of the damage, and the Chameleon Skinks. All they did during the fight is just. Oh, actually, they did. They were throwing their fights at Javel. They're they're throwing javelins at. Prometheans, so maybe they did do some da some damage. Yeah. Maybe Noctilus will accept peace because I just don't want to deal with him yet. But he's, he's on the list now. I right, take that boot snatcher. Okay, that was a lot of distance he just traveled there, or is that just me? That was pretty far, but he is Pirate Coast. Vampire Coast, whatever. Vampire, Zombie, Pirate, Ninja, it's all the same thing. I just also just really hate how it's impossible to catch other armies in this game. That is like, the one unfortunate part about the game, is that there's... If an army is running from you, there's just... You're kind of just SOL if you're trying to catch them. Yeah, like, there's like a 20 stack going through your territory. You have, like you can't just leave it alone else to start rampaging. But if you send an army to catch up after, it'll just run away and... Oh, yeah, don't worry deal with that. She have a second army somewhere. The so games have definitely Blood changed Voyage. a lot, though. Yeah, the Blood Void is still around. They still haven't shown up on Wolf One. I'm pretty sure that they're just still exactly where they spawned, because I'm pretty sure okay, if they if they don't attack a player, they don't do anything. I'm actually sorry. So I can't catch Noctilus right now, but. Ridiculous. He does accept the peace treaty. Oh, nice. And Tahuanin returns. <laughs> he comes back home. Waves at Noctilus on the way by. And it looks like that next turn I'll heal most of the damage I've taken from the attrition. Yeah, it should only take a turn or two for you to get everything back. And then you can even march straight to oh, Slack no. and take it. I mean, even just like, just at the end of this, if I start my next turn, I'll, 
actually my age, like everything will be like at like at least ninety percent max health, and and then the rest of it will be recovered which is from being in my territory. I actually, I probably could just move on to Laxon after this. Yeah, from what I can see, your garrison is nothing special. So. Yeah, and like I said before, lizardmen garrisons. Yeah. Pretty trash. Of course, they attack them, and they just have their garrison is just twenty feral oh, yeah. carnosaurs, or the entire garrison is feral carnosaurs. <laughs> or oh no, they're all sorry, Scar, scar veteran on carnosaurs with a sl land life priest backing them up. All I need to do. Certainly not. Let's get that Safri army out of there. Looking in good shape. Out. Very well. God the. The garrisons are so bad though too because so many of these things can't fight on the walls. Or too many of them on the walls, like I'm actually better off just fighting them on the field so I can use a lot of these dudes. <laughs> but actually yeah, if they attack as a lock in the next I'm just if they start sieging, I'm just gonna kick open the door and just attack them because they yeah. that garrison's actually besides the skirmisher besides the uh, cohorts with the javelin, it's pretty strong. In the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna go try and take back Pox Marsh with a uh, cheeky little lord. So I I did this during the uh, first uh, first uh, session of this but a cheeky thing you can do is when you see like open territories like the ruins of Poxmarsh for instance you just send a single lord with no armies there and take you can just take the entire thing and it's also good too because normally when you colonize ruins it costs uh, like half your units yeah doesn't work if there's only one unit it's true You know what? I really wish I could show you guys what I was doing on my screen, but... Uh, hmm. I don't know what Jungle Swarm does, but plus 10 casualty percent replenishment weight for all the armies would be very, very good. So I'll do that sacrifice. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, Czar, but my understanding of this is 10%. Uh, that means the army will heal, every unit will heal 10% of its health, I right? Back, right? I believe so. Also, I got a bunch of sacrifice, free sacrifices for doing that. Uh, sacrifice and hold on back. Curious what this does. I just got a follower for a lord that gives me like 15% relationships with everyone but Skaven, or like it gives me a little like High Elves Empire and I think one other race and, and all the lizard men. In exchange, he gives me a negative 50 penalty of all Steven factions. Jeez. Yeah. No, that's my turn. Who cares about Steven? Oh, well, of course it gives me a mission to recruit a handmaiden the turn after I recruit one. Handmaiden of the Ever. I really hate the missions. God. Especially the be at war with faction ones. Loyal. Oh, those are the I stand with you. Cause like those ones, if you actually like are on a mission to like get all of this, Light like those that can actually cost you the game. So, right now, Safari's only settlement left, because it looks like Lothar took the rest of them, is the White Tower. <laughs> they have an army there, but if I can lure that army out and defeat it, then yeah, I mean, siege the White Tower, they won't be able to sally forth. 
with just their reinforcements, and then I can just whittle them down. Yeah. Also, we do know from experience that they will attack Torrent and if they think it's un unguarded, so if you just go in ambush stance right in front of it. Yeah. Evergreen of Alguan. Laying in wait. Come on, you dumb fuckers. You'll do it. I know it. I will not. They do have oh, so we're... an agent right there. I am in the negative income. Speak. I have heard tales but of your kind. I want to trade with Please. People. Very well. Trade with Grace. Uh, who else can I trade with? Nobody, because I don't have a port. All right. Well, <laughs> that'll get me out of the negative at least. Also, Illyrian here still holds the Unicorn Gate, and I'm pretty sure that is literally all they have left. Because I haven't seen an army from them in many turns. Lady of Ulfhorn. Give the word at your service. Tyrannach. The Phoenix King welcomes all, cultured or otherwise. They want to. <laughs> with Tyrannoch just yet. Also, it's occurred to me whenever I go to the Poxmars, I'm incurring a trash bathing penalty with their Harkon because it's just the floor that we're the fucking waking is just sitting there. <laughs> That's such a... Defender of the Ever Queen. Like, if you zoom out, look at on the map and just look at the boundaries, it doesn't look that bad, but just crossing through it, it feels weird. Can't wait to see what Tyrion does this turn. For whatever it is, it wasn't much. Brilliant move, Tyrion. Exodal's at war for the Defenders is a great plan for some reason. Sure. I guess this is just a Lizardman brawl now. Actually, yes. that, that could just be a thing like an SFO rebalancing where they made friendly factions like each other less just because... Maybe. It stops like, stuff like the Order Tide. And what the fuck are you doing, Noctilus? <laughs> just sailing by your temple, just kind of looking at it wistfully. I end up to build a pirate cove. And the thing is, we're going to right through and attack it, but we literally just made it last turn. <laughs> oh, my ambush was foiled. All right, Tiranak is bouncing back pretty hard. Yep. They took a lot of casualties from sieging the Eagle Gate, though. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I guess the thing for the AI's benefit is that they don't... Other factions, other AI factions don't focus them down like they do us. Yeah. So that gives them time to rebuild. I'm kind of curious what... uh. God damn it. They do have another fucking army there. I think that's the same one. Uh, yeah, it is. I guess they just retreat back there. Marcus Graber is on the march. Building is completed, though. Start giving me some real money again. I need, I need that port so bad. Make the heavy giant out here. Uh, probably see Tal Oh, yeah, Talax and Garrison's very weak. Got some Temple Guard, but actually, I don't have a whole lot of things that could go on the walls, so if you really wanted to, Zara. Just bring down some sea guard, take the walls after being the temple guard, which will be pretty hard unless you have something like sort of Masters of Hoeth or uh, so a Masters of Hoeth would actually do wonders. That's a level then five just... settle. What the heck is he doing? Uh, I mean, like I said, Lizardman Garrisons suck. No kidding. Actually, no, mine's Jeez. that way better than his. What the fuck? 
Yeah, that's weird. Well, it's my turn. I guess he just hasn't built things that give him garrison. Actually, I think I think I know what he's doing. He's probably going around to try and attack Zahuatek. No. So yeah. Maybe if I just go into ambush stance, I can just jump him there and just beat him into submission, then take his land. Actually, yeah, and you are right. That is in fact the same army because I just noticed that like it does have the blessed Stegon on and the blessed Prince of Elfwat. Which I, I really totally wish I had a Blessed Stegadon, because those are great. Please, uh, I'm not sure if they changed an SFO, but in base game, Blessed Stegadons have perfect vigor. Phoenix King welcomes all. Which means they never get tired, which is really great, because Stegadons are both an artillery piece and a melee combatant. And so they spend a lot of time being tired if you don't, like, let them rest. Well, I wasn't really expecting that, but I have now confederated with Tyranoth. Oh, holy shit! So... So, I own a good chunk of Ulthwan, including Vol's Anvil. I am losing a lot of money, Lady of the Phoenix Court. but I also have two armies now, including Sirthara Belkek, who's level 15, and... There's Call so Zara the fucking comeback kid. She's got a great eagle mount, too. Nice. And the Ring of Corin. Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of standards you can take. Give you the Lion Standard, Razor Standard, and do you have a Bard? Okay, instead of a Minstrel, you'll get a Bard. The bard is better. Anyway, uh, I could probably take the Galleon's Graveyard if I could just didn't have to worry about all the attrition damage. Yeah. The Moxicars I have have a lot of piercing on them. So they could just tear through the and anti infantry, so they could just tear through the death guard. <laughs> Actually, a lot of things I have have armor piercing, and the Stegadons also have it. Oh, Stegadons also have a bonus versus large, I didn't realize that. Okay. So I've got a fair bit of work to deal with here. Income from trade. False and the Asar are ageless. Vol's anvil doesn't even have. I guess is Vol's anvil a port city? I don't think it is. Nope, it's not. Hmm. Well, what do we have? A dragon slayer. Oh, I can recruit mages now. The Asa bids you welcome. White Peak. There's not much there. Protect our vault one. Entering the city. Okay, so I need to find a way to get rid of 460 gold per turn. Uh, some of these sea guards, I think, are gonna have to go. The trees have yeah. much to tell. God, the Eagles gave Garrison not that strong. Dawn's hope. <laughs> Make it six bucks per turn. I would just say, yeah, I was gonna say just. Disband uh, Sir Thora's uh, entire army. I kind of want to keep her just to mop up the rest of Nagarond on the. Oh, how much money do you have on you? Uh, 1300 bucks. Not much. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's, at least get Tor Anrock back. So the Griffin Gate is going to be a lot harder, but. And I also. I I'm not, I don't think that army can take Tor on Rock back. Do they have a pretty... Oh, jeez. They have an extremely hefty garrison there. I have no fucking clue how they did that. Wow. They, they have held it for quite a while. Yeah. Okay, well, 
Oh, we've got a hag, for now. which is always bad. That they ha it's always kind of. We've got a hag. They got the black guard. They have three twin lit corsairs. They have bleak sword. Bleak sword which isn't hard and a graded spear. But then they have looks like a three units of, of dark shards. Yeah, I think so. Look at Hank's little's rocking it off. Wow. She gets a lot of mounts. She gets an Elven Steed, a Great Eagle, a Moon Dragon, and a Star Dragon. Still that dark heart. The Princess? The yeah. Queen. Yeah. High elf, high elf mounts are pretty awesome. Princess of the Asur. There are no archers in her army. At your service. Lady of Old Thorn. Okay. Speak. Alright. Mario, go back to the ambush stance. From view. Hopefully that'll work this time. I have the Eagle Gate now. Oh, our town is so vulnerable and unprotected. If someone were to walk up there and attack it, I don't know what happened. Okay. I don't know where Kotha gets, but they're trying their best to take out Lothurn. Uh, I don't think it's going to go so hot for Okay, me. Lothurn did something. Oh, they got the Griffin Gate back. Thank God. Okay, so Tor Anrock is all that Nagaron has left. And I think... Well, it looks like the Exiles and the Hacking Clan and Rick just had an alliance for some reason. They're both bad guys. I mean, Doom Kings are more like neutral, like true neutral. They just want to like they own are, shit. Yeah. That's why I like them so much. Yeah. Like, the fact that they're zombies is like nothing to do with their actual behavior. They just happen to be revived as the undead and they're not very happy about it. Basically. So, but they, they just decide to like continue with life as normal. Uh, also much stronger than the Hunt Marshall Expedition. Looks like I can take out, if I take out Talaxan, then I can just mop the rest of this province. Yeah, I would just go for them. Oh. Is it happening? Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was imagining Alarial just popping off from behind a bush, going, Nye -hye! <laughs> Actually, I'll give. You have been pranked! Boom. This world needs us. Uh, I don't know. This looks really hard. <laughs> I didn't even move. I was just in the same spot. Oh no, you I lost ten, ten your freedom. people. Light in the darkness. My light shines bright. Oh, I got another regiment of renown from that. <laughs> Can send that straight into the Sertharis army. God, like after all the wars, to like War Tefir, Torfinu San, they probably have a population of like five people. That didn't reset my camera again. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Even though I had that mission. Oh god damn, that would be nice to do, but I don't know. Oh my god, this! I have a hero here, oh. a, a life mage that I got from Tirana, whose name is Shield. S H E E L D. Didn't quite make it. No. I'm not letting you know I was pointing the sword there instead of the loot icon. Maybe that's just me, but. I mean, I'm just forgetting how things work, but I'm just used to fighting Scave, and so I'm expecting it to like, walk there and just, like, BAM! I Man, mean, fuck you. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. Don't rule that out yet. 
And then it's also J and B. Well, that's all I can do for this turn, so. I know for a fact there's at least one Skaven faction out there who will have that ability. Okay. Well, it's, I guess it's like a trait like Clan Moors. Also, I remember a while back I said, like, uh, I thought Tomb Kings ignored uh, terrain. Or, like, mm -hmm. uh, I guess region or whatever, whatever the fuck that symbol is. Uh, oh, yeah, suitable climate. Cool. Climate. It was because they had that diplomatic trait, climate is irrelevant. I thought so. I thought that meant they just didn't care about climate. But I guess it actually probably means they just don't care where they conquer. Probably, yeah. Which doesn't really seem any different from any of the other factions, just by how often I see Bretonia owning Norska. Shield of the Life Mage. Mm -hmm. what you, what's your A goal? champion. Do you have anything? I... Wow, well, I can't even give you anything. I can give you. I can give you the scroll of shielding. The shield. Actually, yeah, other than like the two sacred spawns you got, this is actually the four sacred spawns. That's actually a pretty shitty army that a Talaxan has. I mean, like, yeah, the state sore I can. Actually, no, the, no, the sore I cannot beat the Croxigars. Yeah. The Croxigars have both armor piercing and anti infantry, which the. Sora, I can't Asia. really match. I mean, Sora, I do hit really hard, but not as hard as Croxigars. All right, so I am sieging the White Tower of Hoeth. As long as they cannot sally forth, they don't have an army. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you can effort. sally forth with just reinforcements or like a garrison. Okay. So all I need to do is just wait them out. Oh, yeah. and Alariel has her Great Eagle. Nice. He's now riding. Now you can get out of trouble and into trouble much easier. Alar Alario has gained like five levels this stream Honestly, so far. It's... Oh yeah, she's level 16. Damn. Yeah. Who oh, You need to gain some levels, bro. For the greater good. Zubara. Okay. I also really want to get the Scar Veteran to level 18 so it's goddamn card sore. Orders? I want to get Sertara a higher level so she can ride a dragon. She gets her moon dragon at level 16. Oh my god, I have research. This is the first time I've had research in my 20 turns. <laughs> Military advancements too. God. Yeah. Need to completely rebuild my economy, but you know. Funny thing I just a funny thing I just remembered is uh, I really like the funny thing I like is how um. Oh boy, out of stairs riding a dragon too. How they like a lot of factions don't have the rating stance, but they specifically gave it to Bretonia so they could risk losing so they lose chivalry. That is weird. Like playing as the high elves, I kind of noticed that like we can't raid because that makes sense. We're high elves. Yeah. But Bretonia can for some reason. That is weird. Lizardmen can't raid either. Really? Yeah. Huh. And the two like other Warhammer two factions, um, they can raid. You yeah. can't remember if two can raid, but I know that they like can. both Skaven and Dark Elves get special resources from raiding. Um actually I don't remember if two kings can raid. I'm I feel like I, I feel like I've had a Tomb King raid me, but I don't remember them doing anything. I'm pretty sure that. they can, but I also know that they do have their own like special stance too, which is uh, to me the stance. Yeah. yeah, isn't that? But it, how is that different from just the normal in camp? Um, it's a little bit different, but not very. I don't remember exactly how it's different, but it's like not quite the same. It's a little bit different. Oh, they can attack me. Okay. Yeah. I must leave. Never Drawing mind. back. I was mistaken. Apparently the AI or the, the garrison can just attack. Oh, you fucking idiots! <laughs> you fucking morons! 
Do they have walls? Probably it doesn't matter. I've still have stegonons. Oh, true. Yeah. Actually, I don't think like they I have said walls. Like I said, where that garrison's not scary. Like, so I have the temple guard. I can't be on the walls, but it doesn't fucking matter because the temple guards don't have any weapon range weapons. Drown or destroy to uh, rip them. Good. That's one less person I'm at war with. I don't think they have walls. Uh, no, they have walls. Okay. Do a quick save, a bunch of manners, and... Spectate, please. Oh, what is that? Ancient Stegonon. What? Oh yeah, that's a uh, buff Stegonon. I'm not too worried about it, though, just because I outnumber them. So everyone, who's excited for a battle? Please, please say at least one of you is. Chat, please back me out any more of war battles. Is, if, is this the first if, time we've seen lizard lizard be lizard? Yes. Ooh. Also, it's the first time I'm using this semi-transformed army. My, I'm probably gonna get rid of that Bastilladon at some point because like the Stegodons are better, but he's more cost. He's less he's less pricey than they are. Yeah. Water looks a little bit weird. So yeah. Uh, let's do this. So first thing I do, grab everyone, put them in a corner. We can deploy normally. So gonna take some ripper dactyls and put them over here by this by this gate so the enemy will hope maybe we'll send some guys over here to defend it and then i'll just fly around them while I, everything gets thrown in this gate i'm just gonna be taking closer looks at all your units because we yeah, haven't seen so most of them stegodons are our, our hybrid artillery unit are have artillery in the back from the giant crossbows they have in fact they're actually very good in artillery use but i want them in melee for this so I'm putting this melee mode. Okay, now watching this, you may think I have a strat. I think you can probably figure out what my strategy is going to be for this fight. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Is that everyone? Yep. They did not have to go as hard on the graphics as they did, considering how far off you're zoomed out. But they I did, mean, and I appreciate it. That's that's every Total War game. They've been like that for years. Oh god, they even made like the sound of like the units going through the marsh. Oh yeah. If you can run these games at like high graphic levels, they look absolutely gorgeous. Which is part of the reason why I like them so much. I wonder. Can the wizard can stay? Can they volley over this? Uh, the sound mages can they volley over this and shoot this thing on? All right, now that the cohorts are firing yes. on the ground, I can move <laughs> in the flying dudes. Salamanders can very much hit the stegodon from there. Very accurate. Not doing a ton of damage to him, but it's also really funny, so. Also, you can see everyone is just wailing on this door now. <laughs> it's, it's a party up in there. So if you watch the Pterodon Riders as they move, they have a fun thing they can do. Where they actually have balls they can drop. Oh, 
Also, these river dactyls are amazing, and they are going to just mob these people a little bit. This place stinks. Tiny lizards. Come for your lives. I do, I do like the fact that I'm sure it's entirely accidental, but your two armies are color coded. Like all of your units, are like all of your skinks are like yellow and red, and all of theirs are blue. Yeah, I think every army has their own like all different lizards have like different color schemes. Also, okay, these guys are uh, beating, so I'm gonna have them retreat. Actually, I'm gonna have them retreat further in and just shoot these Croxigars at the command point. Yeah, because they can't do anything. Actually, no, I'm gonna shoot these Temple Guard. They can't do anything about it. Okay, uh, they should be collapsing any. Uh, yeah, they should be breaking any second now. They're, they're also shooting their own gate from the other side. Yeah. And there it goes. Party start. They have two units of Temple Guard on the other gate that I'm not even attacking. Oh yeah, they so do. everyone, everyone get in! It's the party time. Can you even make out anything that's happening in this fight right now? Because I sure as oh. <laughs> Over at the gate, I don't have a clue what's going on. I've lost track of who's who. I am just casting spells now. Hopefully, hopefully some of these are enemies I want to kill. Uh, also, you watch the Fire Leech Bullet or Pterodons are just throwing projectiles at the Temple Guard back here and they can't really do anything about it in the flame. Right? Yeah, they're just, they're just standing there taking it. All right, yeah, they can't beat them, so they're just gonna. All right, and everyone move to the center. I really hate sieges because it's hard to control anything. Yes, yeah, once you get into the city, it becomes a real big mess. Which I guess is pretty. That's pretty accurate to how sieges, I'm sure, were in real life too. I don't know why Tehunum's on the top front now, but you be you, King. Yeah, where it's is he anyway? He's on the top gate fighting the Temple Guard. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, there he is. The, the scale of everything has been completely thrown off because of Lizardman. So now he's tiny compared to everyone else. <laughs> Coxcarp, go get their lord. And I'll just maul this feral bastillet on. God, this is a clusterfuck. I hate to see little battles. Bit. Yeah, I imagine that siege battles in real life was like the uh, major hurdle right. is just getting past the walls, and then it's just like, all right, whatever happens, happens. I don't know why these red crested things are fighting the temple guard, but actually. <laughs> Well, they're losing, but Solar Temple are losing because they're getting shot. They're also getting blown up. That's fine. Uh, Tehunum's teams have killed the Temple Guard. Uh, everyone go beat up this Temple Guard now. Oh, the Temple Guard's running from... from the... Hmm. They've really changed the way that armies like get up and down the walls because before it was like there was this whole like extended animation of them having to like go into a guard tower and then they have to climb to the bottom and then they come out the bottom and it was really annoying. But now they just kind of teleport. That's so much better.
Do you want to get your ass down here and help your army? This one temple guard's trying to sneak away. Things just are not going well for them. He's doing alright. He's just kind of sneaking past your army. Oh. Never mind. He just got bombed. <laughs> the salamander just shot him from across the battlefield. Yep, yeah, and there we go. Let me. Actually, I'll try and run down some dudes just for battle captives. Because at this point, I, th I think. And I may be wrong here. That these count for cap, these count for sacrifices I can take later, which is not lore friendly at all. But um, who cares? Also, the ter also the, the flying units are very good at running dudes down. Yeah. The Predactyls got kind of mauled because they were fighting Temple Guard, who really shouldn't have made them fight, but. Size of victory. Uh, lost 185 out of 717, but that's not bad. Yeah, it'll, I'll take it. Like, it looks like the only guys are down. Man, oh, look how many kill, kills the Ripper Deckles got. Yeah, they are fucking amazing. I love them. Like, they get mauled frequently in combats like this. But they do a lot of damage, and they're great because they because the Muslim don't have too much range. They can just go behind enemy lines and just just tear apart their artillery and uh, artillery and uh, guns because they have both armor piercing and anti infantry. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're basically just a living missile. Also, shout out to that Red Crescent Skin Cube that somehow got kills, uh, despite the fact that, uh... Regiment of Renown, despite the fact that I'm not sure how they did that, considering everything was just a clusterfuck and they were at the end of the clusterfuck. Hey, they're they're rank 9. They're just that good. Yeah. They, they are a Regiment of Renown. I guess this is what we're renowned for. Yeah. They killed people that you didn't even know they were there. Regiment of Obscurity. Maybe that's what they do. Uh, they just show up into battle, run around in the chaos, and then they tell everybody afterward, yeah, we got yeah. 41 kills. <laughs> also, fucking rip that Feral Bastilodon and that Unit Temple Guard. The only use they seem to have wiped out to a man. Yeah. Oof. Also, confirming that skink cohorts suck, they were... Sh they were the only range that they had, and they only got... They got collectively got <laughs> seven kills. Yeah. I like more. They don't have that much ammunition either. They're basically just the melee skin infantry, but they have some range, and they just join melee. Jeez, even their their ancient stegodon only got two kills. I think that was probably because he was fighting my stegodons. Yeah, that's probably true. So, Dino Wars. Well, that's a pretty good turn of events. Yep. Yeah. For a second there, I was worried because I had both Noctilus and them, but then I just Noctilus threw his army into one yeah. settlement and lost, and then he's just like, I give up. Yeah, you are like constantly at war with like one person at a time. It's gonna loot and occupy. Whereas I'm at war with half of the free world. And nobody wants a peace treaty. And because of my replenishment bonus, this army's gonna be at full strength the next turn. Nice. And I get a tier four capital. That is quite nice too. Everything's coming up dice. Actually, taking on his arm is probably gonna be a bit of a fight. Yeah. But that's a problem for later.
I mean, this army's weaker than mine. The Croxigars can defeat the Sorai. And let's take it on. Actually, actually, yeah. Like, his art, his units just aren't good enough to beat mine. I have better units. Yeah, I guess he's uh, in for a world of hurt. After he, de he, de he declared war on me. Yeah. Not you. He declared war on me first. And then you were the afterthought. Still makes no sense. Not gonna repair this because I need money next turn to colonize the oh, can colonize this right now. I can, and now I have Hawksmark Bash too. Nice. Which is probably gonna, I gotta rebuild everything though. Fall back into ruin soon too, because of public order issues, but at least I have it back. Turn off tax in that just so I can hold on to it longer. Talaxan makes out a peace treaty, but fuck them, I'm gonna murder them all for mildly inconveniencing me. Remember, right, kids, if you mildly inconvenience me, I will kill you. I understand proportional retribution. I was wrong about Malekith. He didn't leave Othwan. I found him. <laughs> he has been harassing Crace for a while. Oh no, not Crace. I refuse. But he's looks like he's in rough shape. Uh, I'm gonna start focus getting uh the hood and some magic even though his lore is not great. Oh is it something. I see what he did. He went and captured the Shrine of Cain. Uh, oh no! Wait, oh shit, he, you gave the sword back! Yep. Alright, yeah, so. Probably should have just kept the sword and then just not used it. Uh... Although Alario has already died twice in this campaign, so. I mean, once you get, I mean, that princess you have there will be pretty on uh, Star Dragon and the Sword of Cain. Oh god, yeah. If, if I get the Sword of Cain, it's going straight back on Sertara. Yeah. She, she was a monster with that thing. Of course, the best thing to do is get Tyrion back. Tyrion through Confederation. I don't, get I still don't know where Tyrion is. <laughs> I haven't no. seen him in ages. Where in the world is Tyrion, whatever the fuck his last name is? Remember Does he even have name? a last name? Is he is he like just like one of those artists who just only have the one the first name? No, he has a last name, but I don't remember what it is. Also, God having higher punishment rate feels so good. So Jesus Christ, this army's expensive. What's your the upkeep for your army? Mine's six thousand right now. My total is fifty two hundred. For not quite a full stack and uh, six units. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Okay. Alario the Radiant. So I really don't know what I'm going to do about the White Tower of Hoa because it's like it is pretty much unsiegeable for me right now. Queen of Avalon is uh, I don't I don't I really mean, want to just leave it. Torfino driven be, darkness back. Whatever. Yeah. I guess your only option here is just rebuild because you're still like using relatively fairly weak units. 
Yeah, I am. Everqueen of Althuan. And I really don't have much of an economy at all. Alright. Uh, what I need to do is take back Chotqua and then I can get back to one province and then just finish building up one of the other provinces and then I'll be good to just... The trees have much to tell. Finally break through this prophecy of Stotek. Also, the Hunts Marshall expedition is now raiding my land. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. Um, if I had if I had a score that could reverse the right. relationship with him right now, it'd be negative five million. I would like to speak to your manager, Marcus Gruber, or Graber. Unlikely. I do like one thing for how like unoriginal Defender Warner of Fantasy is. Like, it, it's interesting to me that Warner Fantasy is like. If you just don't pay much attention to it, it doesn't seem that original, but most of its originality comes from just, like, I guess evolving over time, and also the fact that their human empire is don't based on the Holy Roman Empire and not, like, fancy. Yeah. That would be a feat. Not, I guess not even, like, fancy England, like, what people think fan, like, England was like in the Middle Ages, Maybe and then just one. blend with the modern Phoenix times. Welcomes all. Yeah. Cultured or otherwise. It shall be done. Hey. Peace treaty with Kofik. You were at war with them? Yeah, I was. They declared a war on me a long time ago for unknown reasons. Yeah. Probably not... part of an alliance because I was in a war with them. No, I remember when it happened. They just straight up declared war on I'm me. I'm listening. For no reason. Um... So I can just totally beat these Empire nerds too because. Empire seems it seems like Empire is one of those like uh, armies the AI just does not know how to build armies for. Yeah. Unless they like spam Reich Guard, in which case they're actually kind of scary. Yeah. So that they're actually like really good cavalry. It's a uh... god nag. Fuck. Oh no. Huh. God, that, that fucking Nagaron balance power you have. Huh. I mean, like, on the overworld campaign. Yeah. Well, this is a really interesting balance of power for this battle. Mm -hmm. Wow, his army's got experience. You know what? The follows I think we're gonna have to fight this. Yeah. Because those. There's four units of Gate Guard, which have anti large and also melee expert. So. We can probably kill Malekith with those. Four units of White Lions. Yeah. So, White Lion Meat Shield. Actually, what the fuck do the Gate Guards do? I've never seen them before. Ooh, they're special. They, they seem like they are very good. Uh, I think they're spearmen. They look like, so they're like buffed, uh, they're buffed sea guard, I guess. I think so. Yeah, so. Alright, so everyone shoot Malekith and also maybe the Sisters of Slaughter because they are pretty vulnerable to being shot like most things oh that's right this is a siege fight that you can't build siege equipment for <laughs> that, I think they're in trouble Malekith Malekith and I think their bolt thrower might be like the only things that are actually a threat yeah because everything else is going to have to climb the wall yeah I, again just the sisters of slaughter I just well, shoot them. We'll have something to shoot them all there. Well, literally everyone else is shooting Malekith. Because you can tear through them once they're at, like, low strength there. I think they get... Yeah, I don't think... 
Oh yeah, they don't have a lot to storm the walls with, like no. Sisters of Slaughter, uh, you know Black Corsairs, everything else is not that I think not the, the majority people. of the, the balance of power bar is Malachia. Yeah. Fuck you. Is he still on? Oh, okay. There he is. I thought he was still on that fucking chariot again. Okay. We will obey. Acknowledged. Gate guard. As you say. Eagle claw. Okay. I hate the camera for this map. Goddamn, this is a slaughter. Put some. Aren't you cold living in the Arctic waist dressed like that? No. Live for it. There are. It shall be done. Alright. Chat while Czar is working out a strategy. If you were forced to go into battle, who would you dress like? What would you dress? Would you wear basically a bikini with some with a mask and some boots? Or full armor? Tough question, I know. I guess this is technically bikini armor. White lions. As you say. Also, you can tell how effective their uh, running around naked strategy is because this is just just covered in scars. White lions. White lions. This gate. Take. It will be done. My gate guard unit put it over here, so I've got more fire on Malachi. Still like how like all how Malkith's uh how Malkith has like a fucking back to his chair. It's very silly. He's also facing up at like a forty-five degree angle. <laughs> Doesn't need to see the battlefield. Yeah. I'd be feeling kinda of nauseous if I was him to be honest. Yeah, yeah. that cannot be comfortable. Mm. Yeah. Oh god, one of your cans just directly hit the black Corsairs and they just got fucking in. Alex not doing anything though, it's weird. The yeah, towers got... hit pretty hard. Towers are doing a ton of damage. When they fucking hit. They also make weird noises. They do make very strange Also, they closed, the, they closed onto the walls really fast. Ooh, those sisters of slaughter are fast. Yeah. The they did, they did take a ton of damage, though. Malika isn't doing anything. What the fuck? Oh, now he's moving. Okay, maybe they were just waiting. Was the AI just waiting for everything to get committed? I think so. Okay, hold on. Hey. If so, that's actually a smart play by the AI. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> him. For the love of all that is holy. Shoot. Yeah, that the Black Heart Corsairs and the Sisters of Slaughter are just too badly damaged to be effective. Oh god, tower. 
Wow, the towers can reach their bolt thrower. <laughs> yeah, the towers are awesome. When they bother hitting things. Oh, he came for my lord. Yeah. That's what Malik is up to. It's taking a lot of damage, though. Oh, I can summon a great eagle, you. Don't mind if I do. Game, are you sure the balance of power was heavily in his favor? Now it gets below half health. Again, I'm, I'm sure like 90% of that was just straight up now like it. It's a fucking pincushion right now. Oops, this is slaughter, seven. are almost done. Yeah, Black are tearing them apart. A bunch of Corsairs out here not doing anything besides just chasing cavalry. We're actually out the fucking cavalry. White lives. Acknowledge. Following orders. Please, Kill them. Get them. Assyrian guides us. Uh, my cavalry is probably almost dead at this point. That's fine. I don't really care. Yeah, it's cavalry. White lions. Should probably bring one of the rest of White lions. It's just elven cavalry, I should say. Malik is less than 2,000 now. Noble. Please, someone shoot Malik. It's fine. He's about to start running. Send my silver helms home. Right. Army losses now. Victory. So let's see if we can't gun down Malik before he flees, though. Everybody, get Malika. Just everyone. Shoot him. <laughs> everyone in my army. Target the towers at him. I don't think I can. I, I think oh, can. I can. Just click it. Yeah. Nobody can God hit him. Damn it. Eagles have almost got him. I'll summon more. He got hit by one of the shells. Get him, eagles. Yeah. I just want him to. He's so weak. He's still got like 600 health. Uh, he's gonna get away, though. Yeah. At least if we have to fight him again, he's, well, he's gonna get killed for fight again. Oh, well. He's definitely, he's definitely retreating after that fight. He's going to be in real rough shape now, and actually I might be able to catch him with Ilario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually get his trait this time, jerk. Yeah, the yeah, is a lot more aggressive, but it actually makes it easier because it thinks it's fighting some really dumb battles. Those gate guard took, like, no casualties. No one? The only people got eaten were the silver helms because they're fucking silver helms. It doesn't matter what I choose. Also, we've actually had a fair amount of combat for once. Yeah, it's been pretty eventful so far. Some pretty... had some nail biters. We've had... we've had... yeah, we've had two... two uh, major uh, defenses, and we've had a uh, uh, siege defense, and we've had one siege attack. Yep. And, actually, no, three states, and a minor cinema defense. <laughs> I can either choose to give this army experience or replenishment. This garrison. Hmm. Or money. Okay. 
Also, there's a unit, there's there's an army of high elf rebels in the corner of my screen, and it's still, it's still really funny to me that the recruitment animation is the character just like swinging their weapon in the air. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there's just this high elf off in the corner of my screen, just waving his sword in the air. Kids going ha, yeah. I'll get you next time. Uh, is that I think that's how army recruiters work in real life, though. So you can't make fun of it too much. <laughs> you just you just go and stand in a field and swing your sword around, and people just yeah. come to you. Yeah, uh, you go with the college campus, you, you're at like a high school, you're walking out, and you see the guy in the football going, Ha! Ha! Uh. Uh, well, I'm a Marine now. Of course, unfortunately, the United States is controlled by the AI, so we just have an entire army of, <laughs> of, uh, of field technicians. Yeah. Uh, uh, demolitions experts, I mean. Or those guys in the Hurt Locker, actually. That'd be the funniest. I wasn't where the U.S. was controlled by any intelligence right now. <laughs> Damn. Sh a lot of shade coming from the north. <laughs> hey, that was chat. That wasn't me. <laughs> Although I Take them captive. Uh, I'll just take the money. I'll take the relation hit. Oh, I don't think I can reach him with a Wario from there. Dang. Luther well, Harkon going out into the middle of no. What the fuck are you doing, Luther? Go on a trip. Going to fight Temery? What? Oh. Yeah. So when you made a peace treaty with the Red right. Fleet, it didn't include me. Maybe we should, make, when we do a peace treaty, make sure that we both do it because... Yeah, I kind of forgot. I'll, yeah. uh, I that, doubt that he's was... going to want one now. But I'll probably have to keep down his Well, army fortunately, first. his army fucking sucks. So. Yeah, I'm not that threatened by it. Game aboard, what? This oh no. Game. It's a desync in the game. Uh... Huh. Well, that's no good. I'll rehost. I mean. Oh, goddamn, we're going to have to fight that, do that fight again. Yeah, I think we will. All right. Well, uh, hey, that's the first desync we've ever had. In like seven hours of campaign. I'd say that's pretty good. So honestly, we're still, the good news is we're actually still hanging in. Been some pretty dicey moments, but things are going well now. Yeah, I've been, I'm well, surprised. Things are going well from. You're still in a kind of precarious situation, but now that I'm just at war with the one faction right now, unless like Clan Pestilence, just, oh, Clan Pestilence could be a problem. But where they are right now on the map, the the place where I have to attack first is my capital city, and that's not a fight I think they can win. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe I should build walls there, but that's like a income penalty, and this is my most yeah. productive uh, settlement. Actually, uh, people who've played this game in chat, who are your personal favorite factions and or, and or legendary lords? Just out of curiosity. 
person have a fondness for Lizardmen and Krokgar, and I was like, High Elves and Dark Elves. Skaven are fun too. I kind of like all the factions, just... I tend to prefer the Warhammer 2 ones over the Warhammer 1... War, 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 Warhammer 1 ones. They're, they're generally more fleshed out. Yeah. More diverse. That said, I have not tried Empire yet, and I should do that at some point. Or Dwarves. I only played like five yeah, hours, so I don't remember anything except Skaven and Malika. Alariel the Ever Queen. So, oh, dang it! I should have talked to Noctilus. <laughs> oh no! Forgot. Okay, we'll speed through all this. And then Grimace comes here. I'm kind of curious if I should auto resolve this. You'll probably lose. The Asua needs me. Unless, unless you want to just save it, and then we can just not try our resolving. If we lose, we restart just because we've already won this once. Mm -hmm. Your choice. I'll like, try. I don't feel like the escape's coming. I don't really like it either. Oh, we won. And we killed him this time. Restrain them. Even the game in that balance power was bunk. Cool. Bye, Malika. Yeah. So the AI did a better job than we did. Although Malekith got a lot more kills than that. He got, like, <laughs> a lot of kills. <laughs> a few hundred. It really doesn't matter if it was a... A desync has occurred. Temp, temp resync? Yeah. Going on? Why it so it keeps desyncing on this turn? Mm. And I kind of wonder why. That's so weird. Hmm. Something weird is going on. I don't know what. Yeah, I have not actually played a Skaven campaign. But... I play like a, I played some decent way into the Claws campaign. It's pretty fun. Yeah. But I'm not sure why you'd play any word besides it Claw. Except maybe Clan Eshin, but I don't know what Clan Eshin's deal is. Clan Eshin, they're all like assassins. It's meant yeah. to be like very sneaky, and they've got. Clan Eshin's whole deal is they basically have contracts with the other Skaven clans. Mm -hmm. And if you do those contracts, then you gain influence with those clans, and so then you can recruit units from them. Huh. And the more stuff you do, the more like little things, like other th things, powers you can play and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Like one of one of their abilities, like their their big ability is they just straight up erase a faction from the game. Hmm. Like <laughs> an entire faction. Doesn't matter how big they are, it's just the entire faction is just gone. What happens to Zerto or the control? Uh they all become rebels. Ah. Yep. It just deletes a faction. Even if it's the biggest one in the game. Just gone. So Empire 163 settlements, not anymore. Mm-hmm. Which is, is like a wild requirement for that to activate, or...? Yeah, you need to get, like, some... Th there is definitely a requirement for it. Probably not as expensive as it should be, but there is definitely a requirement for it. Uh, God damn it. Okay, so... Try to right... work... Wait, Peace of Noctilus. Yeah. Ready to leave. Once you die, your body shall be another heart. A senseless request. Oh. Alright, he's supposed to deal with him. He wants to fight me. It's not a huge army, though. No, it, yeah, I'm not really worried about it. Sorry? Beat him with the garrison. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Alright, let's do this again. Alariel the Ever Queen. Is there anything I can do different? 
feel like it'll just desync again. Something is... Something is wrong with this turn in particular. I will leave the Asur. Take them captive. Maybe that's the curse of Malekith. He's, if he can't win, he's just going to destroy the game. Yes. If I can't have all the one, no one can. He pulls up the cord. It was right on Safari's turn. Which is weird. Safari. Yep. There it is again. Um. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> That's restart. A problem. Yeah. Well, we could either try a restart and to do with the game. Maybe we'll close the yeah. game and re-enter. And we might have to. Hopefully, that'll fix it. I'm gonna quit yeah. the game. I guess we'll have to try. Restarting all together and seeing if that works. Alright, here's my dumb with there, and actually, no, that's not gonna work. And if that doesn't work, then I think that campaign might be lost. Yeah, I'm gonna quit the game, so, do a total restart. Otherwise, we would have to go back in time like 20 turns. Yep. And frankly, that's not happening. Uh, campaign ended, but not for the reasons we thought. <laughs> Hopefully not. We'll see. Next week, Grom, uh, Grom and Elephant, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> Secret Lovers? Question mark, question mark. Indeed. I've actually heard that Grom starts right next to Scar's neck. <laughs> that would be a campaign. Yeah. Actually, I might do Scar's neck now that they've done the big update. Uh, I kind of want to do a Bill for campaign, too. I'll try loading this quick save. I've never Got cat in the way. Cat, did you did you sync the game? <laughs> I think wrong person. There. Uh, I'm going to win for mine to get started up. Oh right. Yeah, unfortunate that uh, these kind of things happen. But again, 71 turns in one desync. Not, not terrible. It's not the System Shock 2 stream I did once. Yeah. That was a, a nightmare to get running. <laughs> You know, I don't like how this game's being judgmental saying I'm a cult. Well, snake pit and all. You know, that's where you're gonna end up if you keep on with that tone, mister. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright. Remember, chat, snake pit's right there. Alright. So I have, I loaded the auto, the, the quick save that I did right before we auto resolved. Yeah. Rather than the, the end of turn one. Okay, I just saw a uh, a tooltip for a wah, which is hilarious to me because in like two days, like actually at this point one day is going to be obsolete. 
It's true, actually. And this is the first time I've ever seen it. I'm a little bit concerned as to what's going to happen to our campaign going forward. Uh, I think older saves don't apply the patch. I'm thinking, yeah, that must be the case. Because otherwise it'll break everything. Yeah. No, we just, like, start off and there's just, like, you just have Grov right next to you with, like, a full Wog army. <laughs> or Wog. I always thought it was pronounced Wog. No, apparently, it's, I mean, apparently the internet's telling me it's Wog. you want. Oh, I think you're actually supposed to pronounce it by screaming on the top of your lungs too, but no, I'm not do that at this time. At this hour. In this economy. <laughs> the battle will take place outside the settlement. Will it? Same results. Subjugate them. So if it's constant, I don't know what could possibly be causing it though. Because it's specifically on Safari's turn, and I don't know what they would be doing. Johania, Von Karsten, Barrel Legion, we're doing it. Okay. Okay, Grace. Oh. There we go. Restarting does solve everything. <laughs> oh, you. Fucking idiots. He's, he's coming for you. The Deadwood Sentinels. Who are you? What? <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, I think they're up north. Why are they here? Uh, Chris is getting into more wars as opposed to dealing with ones you guys are currently in. Huh. All right. uh, oh, so they are. Oh, whatever. Mario, gain the trade. Boy. All right. As in this current situation, would have liked to have the replenishments, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, his army is only 15 dudes. What the fuck? Yeah, he's he's taking some hits. Yeah, the balance of power says that I am just going to get crushed, but I think that's just a lie. So, fight battle. I legitimately do not understand this balance of power. It's probably putting a lot on the, uh, the Bastilladon and the Stegodon. Right, but I have twice that number. Yeah. yeah I don't know what's going on. Could be because they're blessed, but... Could be. Probably, yeah. Also, you've got a whole 71 reinforcements coming. Yeah. It's this map again. Uh, okay, so the Sorry Spear might be a problem with the Croxgar, but the Croxgar also have anti infantry, so he has to balance it out. So we'll have to watch and say, I, do you want to do anything? Because I don't think I need any help with this, unless you want to do something. Do you want, or you just want to watch? Um, I can just watch. Yeah. 
if you think you've got it under control. I've got it, yeah. I really like the way that the tree, like, foliage just fades away when you zoom in. Just focus everything around this little ridge right here. And I want to give me the back because he's a bit injured. So let's do this. Salt line. Croxgars. Behind them. Red skinks. That's a dinosaur. That is, that is their laser dinosaur. Long units in the rear. I don't threat the Sora Scar veteran. Not sure what the fuck this balance of power is. Uh, I guess I'll find out now. Actually, yeah, even even right now it has me as the higher balance of power. So, Stegodons. Please shoot their Stegodon. Getting a real Mad Max vibe from the Stegodons. Oh, you should see a Tahuan when he's on model when he has he's on the Stegodon because he's just holding the plaque of Sotek wall on top of it. <laughs> I'm actually just going to stop this so I can keep track of things. I'm going to send a green to the are after the cold one riders. You guys, please blast these cold one riders. Like, the only thing I want to do is make sure I don't get swarmed by cavalry. Stop things so I can focus more. You fight them. I don't know if the skin cohorts are doing fighting the uh, Stegodon, but go on, Kings. They, it just kind of charged right through them. <laughs> I paused it at a pretty good, pretty good time. One of your Stegodons is charging through a group of skinks, and they're all flying in the air. Four blue lizards. That's yeah, gonna be bloody.
the only feature I wish they would add to this game is being able to just jump into the shoes of like a single soldier and yeah. actually like fight. Okay, that's taking on his, uh, they have his way behind everyone else and what he's doing, so I'm just gonna ignore that and just gonna put everyone else. Here. Coming up dice. Still one of my favorite screenshots I've seen from this game is just a shot of a Proxigor with a hammer crushing like a scaling clan rat. Just smashing him into the ground and the clan rat is just like screaming and holding an arm out. So things have been pretty bloody, but looks like I haven't lost any units. You're getting shot by some skink cohorts right now. Here are the crested skinks. I don't know. Moving elsewhere. Bounce power is way in my favor now. I won't be surprised at the depth. Yeah, they're running. Do as much damage as possible. I don't know where I got this fair. That was probably the carries. Let's speed things up. Pistilodon got tired before it caught those skinks. <laughs> They're getting away. Oh, it got the enemy lore though, at least. That's good. Yeah, I don't know what the, what was up with the balance of power in that one. Yeah. Okay, uh, it looks like it's the Blessed like Stegodon here. went down. Nice. So I didn't, unfortunately, beat them up too much. So they're probably not gonna get routed, but they'll, they will disperse and I'll get the uh, replenishment next turn that I can just finish the job. Actually, no, this is my turn. Shit. Actually, no, I can just hunt them down immediately then. Yeah, he'll retreat a bit and then you can go and finish him off. Yeah. And then I can just force march down to hopefully just force march down to the. Chakwa, and then just next turn take that back. Yeah. Regain the province, then I can reissue the commandment and get some more money from that. You'll have even more junk. So yeah, Crocs is really good. Stegodons are amazing. Yeah, Stegodons are great. Wow. Like, the actual, like, cheese strat for Illidan Admin is just recruit an army that's just entire, almost all Stegodons, and then you're good. Certainly seems like it, yeah. The only downside is the enormous upkeep you have to do. Yeah, true. And it takes three turns to recruit stay it on, but once the, that's out of the way, though, like, it's very hard to beat them in an actual fight. I mean, it's like, it's the same with my sister's Avalon. They, I'm pretty sure they take three turns to recruit. No, got, that's... Like, crazy. I, those are... I wish I could... 
I think you can run away. His name is Fick Rick. So. I'm gonna try and auto resolve this and hopefully it'll blow up in my face. Let's see. What you got, Fick Rick? Not much. It did not blow up in my face. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's got not much of anything at all. Fick Slot. And I got a trick from that gold. Nice. Alas, poor Fick Rick. And I'm gonna move right up the border so I can next turn move in on Chakwa. They have no army. Doors. They have no army. They have pretty much not much of anything. By the comet. Just watch Marcus Wolfhard declare war on you next turn. Um, I'm actually waiting for him to do that because when I one time I did a test campaign for this, he has, he did that immediately. Mm -hmm. Like the, literally the first time I saw him, he was like, "It's on, lizard boy." So I beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's why I'm so confused. Both of his army generals are named Marcus. <laughs> there's Marcus Wolfhard and there's Marcus Graber. I also find it really funny he has an arm and a flagrant or flaglands and nothing yes. to do. Flagellance? Fuck you pronounce that word. The Empire. Yeah. But. Yeah, also, I've never sick. seen Pikeman before. The nation calls. Uh He's been left alone for quite a while, so he might have been able to get some decent units by now. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. He's not making very oh. much money. The beast trap skills 60% weapons for Saganine to take Salamander best build on units and middle damage strength too. Uh, and yep, and right there, he's in a good position to just move in next turn and take Chakwa. I don't think they'll put up any real resistance. They shouldn't be able to lose they only conquered that belt here really recently. Uh, give my. I I should kit out this Scar better because he's a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, Sword of Might. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Are there supposed to be greenskins in Southern Lustria? Could be wild orcs. Wait, how the f I think, yeah, the <laughs> top not Oxile. They took Oxile and And took Fuck. Yola. I don't know. That seems weird to me, but... <laughs> I am unfamiliar with this part of the map. Is that Chippy Yodel is where what's his face starts? Squid face. Wait, why the fuck are all the lizard factions mad at me? Aversion, great. And they scared you. Hexwaddle is alright with me right now. 
Although they do have a minus eight for treaties with you. Yeah. They just don't like you. It's weird. I serve the Phoenix King. Queen. So, Noctilus has decided to siege Vol's anvil. Um, I can't see what's in his army, but I can presume it's mostly just like deck gunners. I remember he had like four blown corpses. Uh, he is currently up against, first off, a noble and a mage. Uh, Swordmasters of Hoeth, two White Lions, a bunch of Spearmen, Seaguard, uh, also a Sun Dragon. Although, oh, I see why. All of these guys, is, their, their health is super low. That's why the garrison is super injured. That's why it'll only hold out for nine turns. <laughs> I am beginning to understand, but Sirthara will start making her way down there. Hey, Noctilus. What you doing? Oh, you know, just Noctilus things. Hashtag I'm sorry. Just Noctilus things. I'm sorry. Tides of death. That's, that's... That sounds like something you would say. That, that is his, uh... One of the quotes he says on his, like, intro screen. That fighting game intro screen that everyone gets. <laughs> so much money. I need so much money for my sisters. Radiant. We shall march. Oh, Greetings, my children. Yeah, I'm really not being too, too expensive, but maybe that was just because... Actually, the SFO probably rebalanced by making them more expensive. Well, they are expensive. They cost, like, 2,300 gold apiece, I think. But I also need 6,800 gold to build the forge. Ah. Uh, so, that'll take a little while. Yeah, you're kind of a rough spot because you have to keep on rebuilding stuff after it gets got destroyed. And I really do need to build walls in Torfinu first. Ugh. God, I want to make money. Get any more income anyway. As a lady. I also really want to recruit things, but they cost so much money. Get more regiments of renown, but they have a very high up cost. So I will decide not. I hear the widow maker. Dollars, if I'm gonna do anything else. Protector of Althwa, what requests would you make of the Phoenix King? Grace still does not want a an alliance. Your small schemes are of no interest to me. <laughs> Tekla still doesn't want a non-aggression pact for some reason. Spend some intrigue. I haven't done that in a while. Let's improve my relations with Tyrion. Because I don't want him angry at me. Did you improve your relate? Actually, never mind. I was going to say improve with Tekla, but Tyrion's right on your door. Uh, Noctilus really doesn't like me. Uh, Teclis, I'm not, yeah, I don't really care about Teclis that much. Let's improve my relations with too, because I don't really want to be at work. Alright, I'll save the rest. Oh, 
Did they just sack the gate? No, I think they lost. Ah. Uh, I think he attacked the, the eagle gate and lost. Or, I don't think that was the eagle gate. I can't remember which one it was. Some kind of flying creature gate. God, Nagarond is so strong. Yeah, if Nagarond launches like a second invasion on Ulthwan, I'm in trouble. Ugh. God, I hate you, Noctilus. Hmm. Yeah, the problem with like units are that weak, they just aren't that effective in combat the either. Needs me. I'm not even gonna bother. He just sacked it. He just sacked it. And now he's gonna come fight Sithara. I mean, sure. I've also got the garrison from Firon, so. Pull back, Azur. Um. All right. Hand out these banners. Another time. I don't know why he decided to do this, but... Oh. Wait, how is he not wiped? How is Knuckles still alive? He doesn't <laughs> fight to the death? Their deaths are necessary. Apparently not. Oh, well, I'm gonna murder him next turn, so... Yeah. Sir Thara will get some free experience. And a free trade, I guess. What you get, Nautilus? Uh, anyone chat who's still around just plays this game, do you ever really go after the Dreadfleet that hard? Because I kind of just ignore them. I think most people do. I never have. It's so, like, their, their home base is so difficult to actually get to. Oh, yeah, of course. I will be the I hate you so much. Yeah, that uh, that Lothurn army lost against Alarium at the Unicorn Gate. Interesting. God, all the ones just utter chaos. Impossible. Eat shit. Oh, well, gee, whatever shall I do here? It's, it's such a hard decision. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna sack this because game wants me to. Then back here and occupy. The accent has been obliterated. That's what they fucking get for, for declaring war on the the Ever Queen, and then immediately attacking me. Yeah, I don't think they had their priorities straight. Lady of the 
Phoenix Court. One settlement has got a gigantic garrison, so I can't siege it, but I can't leave it because Torfino has no defenses. So I basically have to have an army parked there at all times. Your best. Get out of my sight. Crazed in the chat says, I tried to avoid them and when they push back, I quit. <laughs> Regarding the Dread Fleet. Yeah, but... I mean, that is kind of their thing. Is they're, they're in the middle of the ocean, so it's... If they start losing, they just kind of retreat. And uh, you can't really follow them. I suppose you could if you really want to, but... Defenders of the Great Plan are? Yes, it is. Well, that is pathetic. Oh, they are at Hex total, so I'm probably going to take Talaxa next. How big is the Defenders of the Great Plan? They have three settlements, but they hate me, so... I'm gonna probably make them eat shit next turn. Crafting, get some of that sweet, sweet dough. Our buildings lie in ruins. Uh, very close to getting messengers of cards. Destruction abounds. Sorry, as carbon hits level ten, giving him deadly onslaught, so he's very dangerous. So he can be very good at dueling now. Oh, Count Noctilus has ransacked Vol's Anvil, taking 23,000 gold with him. Holy shit! Yeah, the repairs on the buildings in Vol's Anvil are expensive. More than I can afford right now. Lady of Ulfthorn. To battle! Noctilus. Unfortunately, when you kill him, he's just, he spent it all on booze. The Cadi watch over us. It's true. Like. Like, he just sacks so you catch immediately. She's like, oh, I spent all the money. I still don't know how he escaped, because... Alright, who got the kill? That random high elf archer. <laughs> I still don't know how he got away, though, because... I have some of the impression that all Vampire Coast armies fight until the last man. Why does this life mage does not have life bloom? Hmm. Is it option or? I mean, it is optional, but it's like it's a constant regen spell. Like, why would you not have that? Because it's the AI Zara. And oh, I can afford to repair that now. Well, okay. All of my money, but sure. Evergreen of Altwan. Uh fine. Back to Torfinu. Speak. I know 
Oh, there's another damaged building. I can't afford to repair that right now. Victory for the Azure. I really hate how that comes at the very end when you already spend all your money. Queen of Avalon. Well, kind of. Oof. I'm thinking I might have to disband um, my second army. Yeah. Unfortunately, because I really can't. Afford. I mean, you aren't gonna lose. You aren't gonna lose that lord though. They'll just go into the pool. Yeah, but I'll also just have the one army to defend a lot of territory. That's the main thing I'm worried about. Uh, sure, I would try to agree with Ditsa now. I don't want to piss them off because I want to confederate them for them later. If I had a port, things would be going a lot better. Actually, does the Dreadfleet count as a port? Or the Ground the Graveyard count as a port? Pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. It's really weird to me that out of all the settlements in, like, the center of Ulthuan, that Evershale is the only port. Actions. Blood Voyage is still fucking kicking. What the? Again, I'm pretty sure they have not moved. I guess Whitefire Tor is a port too. But what do I have? Can I offer assistance? Buildings lie in ruins. Oh, they, when he sacked Paul's anvil, he destroyed the dragon building. Oh, that's really fucking sucks. Confederating with Tiranach was a bad idea, because I don't have the money to support their stuff. Unlikely. We were stronger apart than we are together. Radiant. All right. You called? Taking up residence. Protector of Ulthuan. Unfortunately, I think. Ready I to serve. Disband. 
Let's throw a bell keck. Ah, uh, it's so close to Bel Air. We have the Princess of Bel Air. Um, if I disband heroes, can I re-recruit re them too? Uh, I if they have Immortal, I think, or I think I think you can re-recruit them actually. Yeah. So though, don't get this is a level bad twelve life wrong. mage that I don't really want to get rid of. I think they return to the recruitment pile. Yeah. I could be wrong though. Not. Oh, she's gone now. Uh, right page. Yep, she's gone. I serve the Phoenix King. That doesn't make any sense, but fair enough. So, for those in chat, oh, I really dumb thing that you can do in the base game they fixed for lizard men in this game is that uh or fixed i actually really like because very helpful for me is there's a building called a uh star chamber for lizard men it is tier three in the base game and tier four in sfo and the reason they upgraded to s to tier four for sfo is that for every uh star chamber you have Increases the recruit rank of all heroes by two, and all slan mage priests by three. And this is for the entire faction. So if you just build a uh, star chamber in as many as many uh, provinces as you can, uh, regions as you can, by like turn a hundred, you are recruiting slan mage priests at max level. It is really dumb. But by making them tier 4, you can only recruit them in province capitals, so you can't quite spam them as much as you could in the base game. Yeah. Ariel's level 17. Alright, so uh, what else? I also say, though, that, like, uh... Lizard men got a significant boost to their economy in this game. Like buildings do a lot we more economics. Probably uh, equip these. I need ones too. I don't even have anything to equip. Oh, do they? This one handmaiden has three followers with her that all provide public order. Right. And that one has two. As well. Public order is definitely not going to be a problem when they're around. Uh, damage building that I can't afford to repair just yet, but I'll be getting a bunch more money next turn. I will focus on that then. Guardian of the Phoenix no, no. Crown, behold the majesty of the Phoenix Court. Now to business. Hmm. Grace, do you want to join my confederation? <laughs> that would give me the Shrine of Cain. Is done. Yeah, I'll get a military alliance with them. So I can at Utah. least see what's going on. I guess Krace is next up on the chopping block for a confederation. Uh, non aggression pack of Tyrion? Sure, why not? At this point, I'm pretty sure Alistar is the one leading 
Oh, there's Tyrion. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wait, he, he's a smaller army than Alistair. I think he's the one that just attacked the, the unicorn gate and got his butt kicked. So the fuck is Alistair? He's Alistair the White Lion. Wow, Hexaudal is tough. Yeah. Bro. I still remember that one game I saw with them playing on and off that where uh, the Hunt Marshall Expedition wiped, basically conquered most of Lustria. That's weird. Yeah. So and then that confederated happens. with the Empire, so there was just Super Reichland, and then I was a war with them. So I'm currently still fighting that, and it's currently just me slowly pushing back Reichland and the Dwarves. Super Germany. Carl, friends, all I want is peace. So I will kick you until <laughs> we get peace. God, I hate Zafri so much. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. Yeah. I just want it. I just want your tower. Your stupid white tower. You just go to Zafri. When you finally do break the earth and you sack it like and then leave and sack it next turn and just keep on sacking until you're finally done raiding at the phoenix gate the phoenix gate has no income uh <laughs> probably to get slaves <laughs> he's making 59 bucks per turn yeah. or oh, are these guys okay never mind those rebels Wait, just murdered the... holy shit <laughs> Oh, those were rebels. I thought that was the Blood Voyage finally no. doing something. No, those were just rebels. I can drain the Blood Voyage to do something. No, the Blood Voyage... I, I would be willing to bet any amount of money that the Blood Voyage has not moved since they were spawned. Lothurn controls almost every port on the old farm. Just gonna go fuck up Marcus Walmart. He doesn't belong here. Die, monster. This is what you get for being uh, German. Vaguely. Yeah. Ulthon is not fully under high off control. Is it? That's right. We just scrim it around these parts. Who doesn't have. Misguided. What parts of Wolfon are not under high elf control? Hmm. Maybe Torch Mill? So broke. Same. Wow, there's no events. <laughs> Just straight up nothing. Okay, first things Our first. Repair, this. repair that building. That's pretty much all of my money.
spend for more money. Oh, I'm making a making enough money as it is. I'll just it's not enough. Alario the Radiant. <laughs> Global recruitment for Sisters of Avalorn only costs thirty five hundred gold and takes six turns. Nice. I will pass on that. The Ever Queen. Yeah, I am just I'm at a loss as to what to do with Safri here. Unless I can make peace. Let's hear it. You are no but friend of it. the Phoenix Court, Traveler. Never. Nope. Priestess of Isha. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll just wait until Torfinu is big enough that I can actually put some defensive buildings in it. I imagine getting sacked every turn has not. I mean, yeah, there's nothing there. Like, there's just nothing left of that poor little town. I think you might just be in like go into finally a long-term build pattern now. And just there is only one so. rightful ruler of Althuan. Get some stuff. Oh, Alethanar wants a peace treaty. Yeah. Why were we at war? Oh, right. I guess that that giant mess. I don't know. He just no. That was long after the mess happened. He just declared war on me just because. I don't know why. He didn't do anything. Just declared war on me and was like. I'm coming. And then he he just died. Also, the Drift Leads are now a war with Lothurn. Good. Uh, looks like Hexodal might take that make take to Laxa. That'll prevent me from getting the province without starting a huge war, welcome. so I think my best bet for a what second province might discuss? be getting the Vampire Coast. Kothik, what do you want? A non aggression. Push beans go for that fighting Luther. Um, I, Kothik is still at war with Othern, and I don't want to make an enemy out of Tyrion. So, no. Sorry. Me and Tyrion are going to rule this, this land. Tyrion rolls alone, Czar. You fool. That's nah, fine. All I need to do is to get like slightly bigger than him, and then I can confederate. Black Voyage. I love that, like, one of the, the settlements that Hexwaddle has is just floating pyramid. That's it, just floating pyramid. And Swamp Town. What the fuck? Income seems to be going down every turn. I don't know why.
Yeah, it looks like uh, Life is probably going to fall to Hexel next. Yeah, I think so. So that's a uh, loss on my end. Mission failed. I am quite alright with my mission fit. Okay, let's build that. of the undying forest hidden from view I'll put Alario back in ambush stance outside Torfino so that every time no. they uh, build up an army that they think they can take the city with I'll just kill them again so that they don't end up building up a, a 20 stack on me out of nowhere It still amuses me that Illyrian still has control of the Unicorn Gate. Yeah. And that's literally it. Yes. Yeah, well, Ulfalon is just a complete mess. <laughs> it's it's getting better. Yeah. There's still a few outliers. There's Illyrian and Safri that are kind of the problem childs. But, you know. There goes Laxon. Oh, no, not yet. No, not Sejin yet. Oh, that's Mazda Bundy. He just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> oh man, that one, that one Vampire Coast leader is named Rich King. Ah, uh, the Dick King. Rich King. Look closer, Lenny. Those. Those poor elf rebels spent so long building up their army, and then Kreis just wanders out of their city, murders them, and leaves. No respect. Oh, ambush foil. I'm kind of amazed the defenders of the Great Plan are still here. Because uh, Nakai died a long time ago. <laughs> yep. I still don't know how they got down into like the southwest corner of the map. What the fuck? Look at... They have 19 corruption in the Vampire Coast from character effects. Huh. God, the Temple of Carriage Garrison is just so huge.
yeah, comparatively. Uh, well, most of it is just tra chaff. I'm just worried about the size yeah. now. Yeah, true. Yeah. He probably have to dry out his armies. Yeah. Not that eager to immediately just declare war though. Maybe I should go for the Hunt Marshal Expedition or just ignore them and go over to the Vampire Coast. Um. Sound Marshal is going to be pretty easy pickings, I feel like. Yeah. I would. Hmm, that's a good point. Salta Kikulu. I mean, do you feel like you'd be able to take the Vampire Coast at this point? Uh, not immediately or quickly. Hmm. Yeah, awesome. I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, the Temple of Kara, you'd be able to get as a port city, so you'd be able to get more income. Yeah, I think it's worth troops. trying it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Jantaluba. Look in here. Get your ambush stance. And declare war. And hopefully... Hopefully you draw them out. Yeah. Sorry, Dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Update is kind of late now, but it, this is this is true to the experience of playing the game, I'm afraid. Yeah, I kind of lost track of time. Uh, you just think, well, one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. That's, that's how it goes. Because, like, also we're now into the interesting things. Okay. Yeah, so I can actually beat the Empire troops individually pretty easily. It's just there are just a lot of them at this location that I'm not... Five percent upkeep for spearmen and archer units. Yeah, <laughs> declared martial law on Ulthuan. Heck yes. I think that is about it for me. Yeah. So next turn be last turn. Yeah, I figure we'll do one more turn. I'll, I'm probably going to be in a, a bit of a holding pattern for a little while here, so... Just need to build up enough income to yeah, support... Yeah, so you're in a holding arm. pattern, so you, you got to just power in and play more rounds, and then you, when you finally break it, you're like, oh, I, I'm, I can do things now, I can't keep playing. Yeah. Red Fleet and Nargrith declared war on each other. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Weird Ambush flex, Frozen. but okay. Yeah. He does know I have lightning strike, right? Face. You're a valuable Shall ally, but I don't really care what you're doing. What do you seek? Uh, they brought a ship up north and then sent sack south. Kothik wants military access. You were at war with them. No, Kothik. I was at war with them, but my relations are actually improving with them. But they are at war with Lothurn. That's my concern. Yeah. Oh, God, you are in a lot of wars. Yeah, none of them want peace. It's just stupid. Give me a break, guys. Clearly you lack the uh, the peace in the ocean skills of a cult leader. Well, <laughs> I think we might have been uh, forced to, to end here. Yeah, goddamn. Actually, I'm... S Quick game. Yeah. Let's call it right here. It'll just reload from the last auto save. Desyncs. Always fun. Uh, but I'm excited now, because next turn I can just hopefully just block up the Wolfhard and just beat in his one settlement and then beat his face in. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. The Empire is one of those factions that the AI is just really bad at playing. Sorry, go ahead. I'm surprised that we're both still kicking. I mean, less so on, on your, your end, because I think things are a bit more stable in Lustria. But uh, I had had a pretty close call that time. <laughs> but we managed to push through, and here we are now. We've got a good chunk of land, and I've got real income again. So, yeah. I just, yeah, I think next time I'm going to probably just beat the Hunts Martial Expedition and then in earnest begin preparing for the war on Luther. Yeah. I think either <laughs> that. Either that, or we just get finally get sick of the Dreadfleet shit and just beat them up. <laughs> the main problem that we have with pretty much everything right now is that we both need a second army, but neither one of us can afford to have one. Yeah. But that's a yeah. that's a next time. Like I still have yeah. a I do have a, technically have a second army, but it's literally just two skink cohorts and a skink chief just to keep military presence to prevent. Uh, or, Poxmars for rebelling. Yeah. So I want to get down the Vampire Corruption, but god damn, they just all of a sudden recruited like a bunch of characters that have that. Yeah, they're probably messing with you pretty hard. Well. So that was that was a stream. Went a little bit longer than I intended, but that'll yeah. that's it for, for this evening. Um as usual, there's always stuff going on almost every day of the week, so Check out all of these other lovely channels. Subscribe. Follow their schedules. Tomorrow evening, Mecha Shakespeare's diving back into the Fifty Shades of Grayscale. Hopefully. I know last week was a bit of a, a, a detour, but hopefully she'll be getting deeper into that this week. And then Thursday should be some, I believe, tabletop stuff going on this Thursday uh, in Word Streams. So. We'll see that then, and then, yeah, Saturday is more backslog with Magnus and Shakespeare. Sunday is art at B Drops channel, along with public opinion, words, and <laughs> action Shakespeare again. And uh, yeah, there's there's always stuff going on. So until then, I will see everyone next week for more Total War. And uh, thank you for watching. Remember, there is only war. Always war. Total War. Yeah. Actually, this is our Wednesday. This is Total War stream, which is a, which for the uh, people who don't know, is a f thing people do where they just, the moment you meet a faction, you have to declare war on them. Uh.